Welcome. Next stop, the Fashion Bunker. Please sit back, relax and enjoy your journey.
Hello? to the holiday Xmas edition of the Fashion Bunker. Welcome to the live show. Tis the season for those of you who are celebrating Christmas. Merry Christmas. For those of you who are not celebrating Christmas, forget I said it. <laughs> you know what I mean, everybody. Do whatever you want to do. Believe in whatever you want to believe. Or don't believe in whatever you don't want to believe. Yes. The only thing that matters is that we're all here together, spending some good time. Uh, jolly old ho ho homus <laughs> together. Hi, Cecilia Brown. Hi, Smurfette. Amy Carmen. Minnie Jeffrey. Gloria Retinos. Didi Bean. Audrey Jane. Natalie Deeds. Tarima Caruso. Beautiful Steps. And Mahones Kileki. Uh, who else is there? <laughs> Mary, Mary, everything quins, right? Amy, Cecilia Brown, Corey Kay. Oh, this live is an unexpected present. <laughs> yes, well, I actually said on Saturday we're going to live stream on Monday again because we will not be live streaming next Saturday. Next Saturday, I'm gone. So uh, this is kind of, you know, we're counting down the days of the last live streams of the year. The last live stream technically is going to be this coming Wednesday. Uh, so stay tuned for the last live stream of the year, right? And then if I manage to, from whenever, wherever I am traveling on the weekend, to quickly live stream, I might. But I don't promise anything on the coming weekend. So this is also one of the reasons why we're live streaming on Monday. Just to get us over, you know, the other week since uh, on Saturday, technically, there's not going to be a live stream. Hello, Art Style, Steph, Alyssa Wonderland, She Glinder. Servant Purple Poshness, the Nectarine Man, Jacob. So happy to see you today. Hey, sweetie. Ziggy McDonald, you look so handsome and festive. Thank you so much. Ski Couture, tis the season for an unboxing reason. <laughs> Very unexpected today, Cecilia Mahona says, happy holidays, Jacob and everyone. Well, I, yeah, guys, I kind of told you last Saturday already we're going to live stream today. And I also told you last Wednesday that we're going to live stream today. But okay, for all of our rewatch crew, if there is a topic that you see beginning, uh, feel free to help out the channel. And in the comment section, comment with a timestamp, which is like literally the seconds, minutes, and hours in which the topic begins. And then the name of the topic, it helps me generate chapters potentially later so thank you thumb up the live stream and this is basically our you know holiday stream it's going to be very chill going to be very relaxing we are either all stuffed with food we've over ate too much sugar too much everything so it's like i thought to myself the best would be to live stream on a monday in case somebody's um I don't know. It, it is the holiday to spend with family, but uh, some people, you know, are not with family for whatever reason, work or life. So you can spend it with us. So there you go. You're not alone. You know, I mean, like somebody said the other week, like, no, I, it's OK. I like to be alone. Being alone is different than being lonely. And this is a very uh, correct differentiation between the two. Being lonely is different than being alone. Some people like to be alone and they do not feel lonely when they are alone. Some people might be surrounded by hundreds of friends and family, but they could still feel lonely. So if you're lonely, you're, you're, you're with the right crowd and the right crew today because I'll be helping you out for these couple of hours that we spent together to feel less lonely. So let me know in the chats. Oh, hi, Zach. Hi, Kudo. Tina Mahona says, happy holidays, Jacob, and everyone. Amy says, D, you deserve a vacation. Thank you so much, Amy. I actually do, you guys. I've been sleeping poorly. Uh, a lot of work, a lot of stress. It's like I'm constantly, constantly working. So I think this next weekend um, I, I'm going to need to sleep. 
<laughs> Wherever I land and travel, I'm just going to like kind of vegetate uh, probably in, in some hotel room on a, on a bed. Big hugs and kisses from me and my best friends from Prague. Thank you, Zach. I hope Prague is treating you with kindness. Katie says, looking gorgeous, Jacob. Thank you guys so much. Looking wintry mauve, Jacob. Live in Ferret. Thank you. Do you like my new outfit? My outfit? I got an outfit. It is, it is like a pawn. It's very Chanel. It's not Chanel though, but um, it's a tweed, like a vest poncho that I connected with my brooch and then it has another flap. It's a double flap, honey. <laughs> So I thought, uh, let a hoe be festive. It has a bunch of pearls and tweed. And uh, you can see it's uh, very intricate. Look at that little pattern going on on both sides. And, um, and you know, I have, of course, the purchased camellias from Chanel. But uh, I do prefer the gift wrapping camellias from this season for this occasion because I think the colors are so festive and beautiful. So I'm wearing them. And yes, I am all for repurposing everything you get, even the emballage, the packaging, the wrappings. Don't be afraid or ashamed to do so because these pieces are beautiful. Why not repurpose them uh, and use them to enjoy them, not just like to bring home the bag with the camellia stuck onto it and then throw it all away and turn it into garbage why these are beautiful they're made out of fabric like little thin tweed i think they're gorgeous i think it's crazy to throw them away mini jeffrey red bull tea again you best believe but then i also got my barbie mug uh and we got water in here high fjord perfect a prefect. The background created by Bubbles is quite festive, even if no orange boxes are to be seen. Orange boxes? No, darling, we're not unboxing anything orange. Although, here's an orange box for you. The crop is here in case you wish to tip your host. Um, the crop is waiting. But uh, we, we will be doing an unboxing and it's going to be a Chanel unboxing. We are we have come to the final unbox. Oh, you know me. I, I will always have another Chanel unboxing. Right. But uh, but this is the main Chanel unboxing. It's been like kind of a we've been counting down towards Christmas. And so my Christmas gift. Well, they've all been Christmas gifts for me to me, kind of, because they've all been purchased in this season, in this time. But this unboxing today, this is the the special piece that I've um that is the it, it's the the most important or the biggest piece this this season, if you if you may, to end the year. Thank you, Aish. Looking beautiful, Jacob. Thank you so much. Corey K says, I'm sorry I missed the last two lives. I was out in the motorhome with no connection. Well, I'm glad you're with us now, sweetie. So surprise, surprise. And speaking of surprises, you guys, thumb up the live stream and we're going to be playing some games today. This is a special live stream. We're not going to just, you know, throw shade and analyze fashion. But this is really just a chill live stream that I wanted to do with you guys, for you guys, so that we spend some time together. Relax a little bit. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Cebuana. Cebuana75 donated $20. Moving in two days, busy packing. Thanks for keeping me company. Oh, Merry sweetie. Christmas. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you too. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> the bubbles is such a hoe. But anyway, just a tip, sweetie. It's our winter tip. Oh, we love it. Dance, dance, everybody. Hit it, Bubbles. Ah, magic moments. Thank you so much, sweetie. So if you wish to tip your host down here, don't forget to thumb up the live stream. And like I said, we're also gonna be playing games today. Amy says, yes, yeah, solitude and loneliness are different. Right. So that's why I'm saying if anybody's feeling lonely today, I got you covered. At least for a couple of hours, I'll be here with you. And, you know, we're going to be playing some silly games. We've done a couple of them in the past and they're kind of funny. One of them, you probably know if you've been on my channel for a while now, we do the word guessing game. 
uh, but there's also going to be a new game today uh, that we haven't played before. So that's going to be really cute. And then in the chats, you can like kind of guess what Bubbles is drawing. <laughs> can you believe? Yes, Bubbles is now drawing. But uh, that's one of the games we'll be playing. And the other one is like to the words appear on screen in uh, letters and you have to combine them to, to create a pattern. It's a good little brain exercise. And um, that's that. Natalie says, yes, I couldn't be with family this year, which is sad. Well, Natalie, you're with your digital family. <laughs> you're with your virtual family now. You're with us. So we got you covered. And uh, Nico says, Merry Christmas, Jacob, and everyone in the fashion bunker. Hi, Nico. Merry Christmas to you, too. Melissa says, hi, Melissa. Melissa says, great point, D. Uh, and uh, amazing point. Uh, as the, Yeah, alone and loneliness, different things, different things. Carrie says, just me and Kitty for Christmas this year. Yeah, we got to unwind and unplug a little bit, Gloria, right? Hey, Jolie, simple opinion. Yes, it's a nice, quiet Christmas day. Exactly. We're just going to chill a little. You know, there's going to be a little bit of a perfume convo happening, the unboxing, the games. If you got anything to get off your chest and talk about it, we could talk about it. Kristen Reynolds says, husband works for the water department. We took him lunch and, and gifts. Daughter with fiance or daughter with finance. I think you meant fiance. Or, or is the daughter paying for everything? <laughs> So it's me, y'all, and the cats. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Kristen. Hi, Shikma Bonfield. You are stunning today. Thank you, my love. Didi Bean, how's it going, sweetie? Or like us, our kids spending with their other half family. So we did ours yesterday. So our tradition is getting changed. But I get to watch the live. So yeah, I'm telling you, Didi. Kids leave the nest. Parents stay alone. And what are you going to do? You come to the fashion bunker, honey. That's what we do. <laughs> That's how we go. We'll go. Saya, how's it going? Aloha from the beautiful island of Oahu. How's it going? Oh, my God. It's like great weather down there, right? Jacob says, love the look. Thank you so much. Beautiful outfit and background. Thank you, Kudo. Yeah, I wanted something relaxing for everybody to see how my shirt matches the background and the little sparkles. <laughs> we thought of everything today. Um, it's giving Chanel vibes indeed, says Nico. Yeah, loving the outfit. And... Um, Really nice, no? Very simple. I love the fact that it's just open on the side so I don't sweat. It's a great piece to wear on, on set uh, in the fashion bunker for me because um, it doesn't cover me up completely so I don't overheat. So it's a very practical uh, costume, really. I mean, you can wear this out and about as well, but I think for like a festive occasion, this is um, uh, a good piece. Hi, Kev. Is that a piece of fabric? So <laughs> it's tweed. And then it is basically, you can see the edges being all nicely covered. So a piece of fabric. Well, um, do I have a pen here? I don't have my notebook. If you were to unravel it, which I'm not going to take off now because it's pinned, but I, I can try to, I can try to draw it for you guys. I'm going to draw up. This is so classic me. Whenever we we are doing fashion um, design as well, uh, you always see me drawing on tissues and <laughs> toilet paper. Uh, oh, the poverty. But uh, it gets the point across. So I'm going to just draw quickly how this thing looks like when it's open so that you guys can understand a little bit how uh, it is one piece of fabric. And it looks like this when it's open, right? When it's laying flat on the floor or on a table. So the head goes through this right here. So this, this part is on my back and these two are in the front. So it's one piece of tweed and then it has that little, it's, it's edged. <laughs> And then this part in the front here has added pearl, had all, has all of these added pearls and uh, gold little glitter. Very simple, super, super simple. Thank you, heaven. Merry Christmas. You look great. Thank you so much, sweetie. And Skiko Tua says, gee, that was a long orange box. I know. You know how we are size queens. Gloria says, woohoo, the piece de resistance. It's coming, baby. 
It's our family Christmas. Exactly. That's what it will go, go. Hi, Louie. Ho, 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 Louie G. Hey, Jesus. Welcome to the chat. Hi, Sarah Justina. How's it going? Jacob and Fashion Bunker. Merry Christmas to you too, sweetie. Hello, 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 Velasquez. Velasquez. Hey, Trey B. Natalie Deeds. Who else is joining? Uh, Linda S. I'm all alone for Christmas and kittens, but I'm here with y'all. It uh, warms my heart. Thank you for having a live on a holiday, Jacob. Of course. Are you kidding me? You're my people. Melissa says, oh, no, my brain is still recovering from yesterday. <laughs> what happened yesterday? Oh, the other the other dinner. Uh, hey, Andre. Merry Christmas, Jacob, and everybody looking fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm an empty nester, too, says heaven. Oh, sweetie. You look fabulous. Thank you. Apple Blonde, how's it going? Best thing to come back home to. Was in New York City for the past few days, and it was magical. Oh, yeah, New York. With the glitz and the glamour, New York knows how to decorate itself for Christmas. It really does. Like, New York goes all out. Hi, Sunset and Moonlight. Hello, Jacob and chat. You look so elegant, Jacob, and I agree. The background looks dreamy. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I wanted to dress up for you guys, you know. Coco Chanel always said she doesn't dress up elegantly for herself. She dresses up out of respect for others. Interesting. This is something that a lot of influencers, wannabe influencers, should maybe also learn. You know, instead of doing those kind of tasteless, uh, here's a uh, $100,000 unboxing, 50,000 bags, I got it at Hermes. Maybe a little bit more elegant. Maybe we tone it down a bit. Maybe we, you know, appreciate more other details and... You know what I mean? There, there's, there's ways and ways to communicate expenditures. There's ways and ways to communicate appreciation of a brand or lack thereof. There's ways and ways to communicate to people. So you can dress up to show off that you're driving a Lamborghini and that you got new nails done with a steering wheel, you know, with the little Birkin open and the jewelry. You know, there's that way. But then there's also another way of dressing up to actually respect others. They're two different things, believe it or not. Hi, Zeitgeist. How's it going? Deco's backgrounds are everything. Thank you. Look at this. Gorgeous. It it's like keeps going and going. The more, the more we enter, the more there's like the tree behind the tree behind the tree. Bubbles went all out. Uh, holiday glam, baby. Heaven says it's giving glam art professor. Yeah, a little bit of a Harry Potter as well. Hi, Terry. Teresa McGuire in the house. How's it going, sweetie? Glad you made it. Hi, Nana. How's it going, sweetie? Kristen says daughter is with fiance. Gotcha. Not finance. Justa Berry says happy Christmas from Chicago. Hi, Justa Berry. Happy Christmas to you too. Kristen says beautiful top. Thanks. Love the holiday glam. Thank you, Zara. Oh, honey. How's it going? Oh, honey. Hi to you too. Pow. How's it going? Merry Christmas. Kev says shoot to your family. Thank you, Kev. Yours too. Hi, Argastiri Petra. Merry Christmas from Greece. Kalispera, my dear. Diel Pike says, Merry Christmas to you and to the Fashion Bunker. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone, says Terry. Merry Christmas, Terry. And um, hi, Sherry Forney. Hi, sweetie. Jesus, everybody. Oh my God, so many lovely people. Well, look at that. We'll go, we'll go. They got a bag from Herpes. Yes, Louie, they did. <laughs> Justa Berry says, I popped a bottle of champagne to watch. Cheers to your best year yet. Oh, Justa Berry, and cheers to your best year to come. And many, many more. Bestestest, even better and better and better years. May they be better with every new year. Better and better. We zoo better. So the years should zoo better too. And Bubbles uh, also uh, commented to Just a Berry. Said, Just a Berry. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> Sherry Forney says, I got 300 bucks in cash. Gonna get one Chanel Eau de Parfum. Probably number five. Congratulations, sweetie. Fjord Prefect says, that's what I call my kids when we go to the Philharmonic. <laughs> well done, Bubbles. Cheers. 
Oh, what did I miss? Oh, hi, Helen French. Happy Christmas to you too. Jacob might be in Kim Kardashian's living room. So it's just, oh, please. No. Ew, could you imagine? Ratchet. Everything I say in this live stream is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. So, if I say you're ratchet, you can't sue me because it's just my opinion. <laughs> Could you imagine? Kim Kardashian calling. Oh my God, you know how many people watch and that and don't comment? I'm not going to reveal everybody's identities because some people then send me messages. You know who you are. But it wouldn't surprise me if one of those celebrities watched as well. Not that I care, but just wouldn't surprise me. What else are they going to do? Everything else is so ratchet. <laughs> S everybody, don't forget to hit the like button. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Yes, hit the like button. I got one hair that moved over my eye. Okay, got it. My elegant and affluent ladies, right? As they say. So, uh, Dario Domenico Martino, Merry Christmas from Virginie. Thank you, Dario. Melissa says, what a great idea. I'm running to the fridge. Oh, Papa Bottle, Helen French, Julien uh, Noel, I have not said it, but Merry Christmas to you too. Hold on, my chats are gone for a second. They'll be back in a minute. Don't you worry. Oh, no, I don't like it like that. We got 97 likes. Almost 200 people watching. Let's get to like 100 likes, you guys. I mean, like, let's get to 200 likes. I used to be a lurker, says Heaven. Yes, there's a, quite a few lurkers that then write me and say, oh my God, I watch you all the time. I just like don't comment. And I'm like, and these are like people, some of them have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and followers. And so I'm like, oh, okay. Well, why not acknowledge publicly that you watch, like support the freaking channel. You know what I mean? Like this is so annoying. And especially especially annoying when these huge channels only decide to write me when they need help for something. Mm, not cool. Just saying. Um, good for you, Heaven. I'm glad you got brave and that you wrote. You see, nobody bit you. Everything was good. Sylvia says, respectfully, why do you hate Kim but live for Paris? They're kind of one of the same to me. Respectfully, Sylvia, you should watch all my live streams to find out more about what I think about Paris Hilton as well, because it seems like you're a little bit misguided there. Also misguided on the word hate. I don't hate anybody. I mean, it's a heavy word. I can throw some nasty shade and it can be funny shade and it can be weird. But at the end of the day, I don't hate any one of these people. You know, I really don't. Um, some of them are really entertaining, even though I don't agree with their morals or whatever they're, they show online. Because maybe, you know, what they show on online has nothing to do with what they are privately. But uh, even the ones that are showing really stuff I don't agree with online publicly, I still don't hate them. Sometimes that word is thrown out like hate, loathe, but... Not really. The emotion isn't there. The word, you know, should be used with much more caution. Uh, it's a heavy word. And then, you know, we use it so much and then we become desensitized to it. And then we just like throw that word around so easily. But it's not an easy word. It shouldn't be an easy word because it's a very, it's like a all encompassing, no return, like, type of extremism word um you know i i do use that word i wish i used it less maybe that's a good new year's resolution to kind of like think even more before i speak you know to like think before i use certain words more in the new year like that's a good new year's resolution like we should stop you know just like using words like 
like they don't mean anything when they do. And I think one of these examples is the word hate. It should not be used lightly. And even if sometimes it slips and I use that word, uh, I don't mean it that harshly. You know, like my heart is not hating, even though the word sometimes come out, comes out. So I should dose that better, right? So uh, no hate to any of the Kardashians um, or to Paris Hilton, actually. None of the two families, the Hiltons or the Kardashians. Nightstar Beauty, how's it going, sweetie? Hi from New Zealand. Hello, sweetie. Hi, Jacob and Fashion Bunker fam. Hi, Tony Diamond. Merry Christmas from Southern California. Merry Christmas, sweetie. Yes, Tamara is watching, isn't she? Shoot -er to her Italian side of the family. Dario Domenico Martino, Bruno Pavlovsky is watching for sure. Inevitable. Oh, oh inev inevitable. Sorry, guys, my chat keeps jittery. Um, bear with me. I'm just finding where is my stream. Feliz Christmas, uh, Merry Navidad, uh, Luis Rivera. Thank you, sweetie. Terry says, I'm here at my dad's. There is a whole house full here. Oh, Terry, that's amazing. Sending you love to your family and to your dad and everybody who's there. Oh, enjoy the time. Enjoy the time together. Tarima Caruso is laughing at Amy. I don't know what something happened there. Natalie Deed says, gotta love people who secretly keep tabs on you on your every move but don't like you. Biggest example also on Instagram. The ones that follow you but don't like a single post you post. They watch all your Insta stories. They don't like any one of them. They don't comment on any post you make, but they watch every every step you make. It's so cringe. I mean, at that point, girl, just make a fake account. Spare yourself the cringe and the embarrassment. You know what I mean? Like, girl. Anyway, gotta, yeah. Jesus says, ah, yeah, Amy, she put tons of Christmas trees in that room and made it look like a forest. Ridiculous. Oh, are we talking about the Kardashians? I didn't see. Dario says, I thought you'd be wearing the Chanel tweed brooch from Fall Winter 22. I have it here. I am not wearing it because there's a reason, Dario. There's a reason. I, I didn't want it to take away from something else that we're going to unbox. But I've already repackaged it, so now it's in its protected new pouch. Like I told you when I unboxed it, I will I would place it in this pouch and surround it by tissue paper so it, it's not packaged in that weird, you know, plastic Chanel thing that falls apart after some years. So it's here. But I'm not wearing it uh, because um, I will be unboxing something else today. <laughs> they might clash. Liz M says, hi, Jacob and Bunker fam. Hi, Liz M. Hey, sweetie. Yes, I, I know, I know. I just don't know how to pronounce it, Helen. Joyeux Noel is happy Christmas. I just never know how to pronounce the joyeux, the, the joyous Noel. Didi Bean, I'm eating a bowl of delicious, not healthy fruit salad. I just had chicken nuggets before the live stream, so I'm not living healthy either. But uh, we'll go, we'll go. And I'm drinking Red Bull. So call me Kreskin. Uh, Paul says, exactly. It's nice to support other YouTubers. Yeah. Hi, Bilbo Fragons. Paris is the OG influencer, says Dario. Yeah, yeah. She has, I mean, at least Paris Hilton has more charisma. Uh, than uh, the Kardashians do, in my opinion only, of course. Tina says, I heard about you from The Real Shaquin. Oh, Tina. Well, Jocelyn is amazing. She's such a sweetheart, and she's just had a baby. So this was a wonderful year for The Real Shaquin because, I mean, her family grew. Her Chanel collection grew as well. <laughs> She did not stop with Chanel just because the baby came, honey. Oh, no. Ain't no baby going to stop Jocelyn from uh, shopping at Chanel. But uh, it's uh, it's been a wonderful year for her because of the really, really adorable baby. The opposite of love isn't hate. It's indifference. We spoke about this a couple of uh, live streams ago. And I want to say maybe even a couple of years ago. We were talking about the differences between... 
like what's the opposite of, of love? And indeed, we did touch base on uh, the indifference being the opposite of love uh, and uh, um, hate not being the opposite of love. But then I think we got stuck at the question, what is the opposite of hate? Does anybody know? What's the opposite of hate? Is it acceptance? Is it... So if it's not love, what is the opposite of hate? Does anybody know? Dario says, New Year's Eve resolution. Start liking Virginie's Chanel. Oh my God, Dario. Smurfette, my love. Thank you so much. Smurfette 74 donated $6. Happy holidays, Jacob. Thanks for entertaining and enlightening us. I got you covered. Ho, ho, ho. Dance, Smurfette. The river dance with just a tip. I mean, which other influencer or YouTuber or whatever the hell you want to call this, what we're doing here, is going to make river dance music with an Hermes crop and a finger? You can't make this shit up. Hit it, Bubbles. Tip, 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 tip. <laughs> Thank you, Smurfette. I mean, look at us. Oh, my God. We are something else. Um, Heaven says, gosh, Tina, I don't remember how I landed here. I think I was on some fashion ladies vlog. <laughs> Jesus says, the latest knobby dot to everyone. The, the least knobby dot. To what does that mean? Oh, my God. I'm not following. Wait, this must be a joke. But I'm not reading between the lines here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Nico has only good vibes. Oh, honey says, hey, Jacob, do you recommend getting Boy Chanel as exclusive for summer? Yes, if you like it, yeah. If you like how it smells, it's beautiful for summer. Boo9 says, I agree, hate is overused. Jacob, I respect you as one of the few YouTubers that actually have insight into your actions, always reflecting and improving yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I, and I don't have a, an issue saying like, oops. You know, made a mistake. Okay, overdid it. All right, let's, you know, let's backtrack. Okay, let's fix it. You know what I mean? Skikutio says, exactly. A lot of influencers want you to support them, but show no one else support unless it's, it benefits them in some way. Like, it would break their finger to hit that like. Yeah. Or to give a shoo, you know. Cecilia Brown says, wish more people had this kind of uh, New Year's resolution, right? Heartbreak Hotel says, Merry Christmas from Chicago. Merry Christmas, Heartbreak Hotel. Luis Rivero says, Feliz Navidad, uh, Prospero Año y Felicidad, Deco. Muchas gracias, Luis. Carissa K says, Deco, do you have any Christmas or holiday traditions? I mean, sleep. I just love the fact that for a couple of days, the world just freezes up. I am a very, very, I know like this looks maybe flashy and I love my, you know, beautiful objects. I love my Chanel perfumes. I love Hermes. I love Vivian Westwood. So it all kind of appears like, oh my God. But in reality, I'm very humble, meaning I am in my pajamas, all of Christmas, I eat chocolate. Oh, Terry, my love. Teresa Maguire donated $100. Merry Christmas, Jacob. I hope you had a great Christmas and have a very happy new year. Oh, thank you, my love. You too, sweetie. Ho, ho, ho. Terry, tell the whole family at the reunion, they better all line up and dance right now. We're going to... Terry just tipped, and just a tip is going to deliver some river dance. Are you ready to dance? Hit it. Hit it, Bubbles. Ah, oh, the beauty of the crop and the tip. <laughs> so as I was saying, y'all, 
Thank you, Terry, so much. Uh, like my tradition, you were asking, like, what's the tradition? Uh, Carissa was asking, what, do you have any Christmas or holiday traditions? Like, I'm in my PJs most of the time. I try to sleep as much as I can. I eat nothing fancy. Like I said, I just had chicken nuggets today uh, from Domino's, not even from McDonald's, by the way. And uh, I ran out of ketchup, so I used mayo. <laughs> not the best combo. I would have preferred them with ketchup, but then there's that. Yesterday, lovely meal uh, made out of cognac or konjac. Uh, it is also called the voodoo lily. Of course, a vampire needs a little bit of macabre. So it's a carb-free pasta, really. It's kind of gooey, made out of the bulb, the root of the voodoo lily plant. And I do the tagliatelle version. Uh, it Literally, it's like no carbs in there, right? And um, that with tomato sauce, dried tomatoes, olives, a bit of feta cheese on top, uh, and and that's it. Like a huge pot. Oh, and beans and corn. Beans and corn. And it's a huge pot, and then you just kind of keep taking out of it whenever you want a little nosh. You know, you want a little nosh. You're feeling like... Mm. And you eat and you poop and you eat and you poop because it's really good for, it's great for the digestive system. So it's kind of like a cleansing thing almost. Now, what gets me every time, it's the chocolate. And it's just because I'm like more depressed during the holidays, you know, because everybody's like the world is forcing you to be happy, you know, like, look, everybody's happy. Commercials on television are like, look at our perfect family. Everybody's happy. Everybody's traveling across the world to meet and fancy places and everybody's happy you know and you're like oh god okay yeah so i compensate with chocolate so this is the time of year where i kind of go i binge more on sugars you know and that's basically my tradition eat the eat the sugar <laughs> have some nice you know food nothing too fancy uh watch a lot of tv shows you know or movies uh and uh Actually, there are two movies that are kind of traditional for me to watch in this season. Uh, for New Year's Eve, for New Year's Eve, it is The Breakfast Club for me. John Hughes is one of the loves of my life. And uh, The Rat Pack, uh, they're just amazing. So David Bowie opens the movie. You know, there's a quote by David Bowie. He, he's not in the movie, but there's a quote by David Bowie. It opens the movie, it shatters the screen, and The Breakfast Club, for me, is the New Year's Eve movie. Actually, it's the movie I watch on the 1st of January. It's, 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 it's a tradition for me, uh, because, I don't know, it just makes me feel like there's hope, youth is not all that bad after all right it's, we can hope in in the no, in the next generations and the other movie that i watch around christmas time is um a prairie home companion the movie is also called last radio days in some countries they have these two different titles it's robert altman's last movie i love that movie so much he passed away shortly after he finished that movie. Meryl Streep is in it. Lily Tomlin. Lindsay Lohan is in it. Um, oh, my gosh. It's full of famous people. Uh, Maya Rudolph uh, is in it. Um, uh, Tommy Lee Jones is in it. Woody Harrelson is in it. Um, I mean, we're talking like it's it's a stellar cast for such a slow paced movie uh, so beautiful a prairie home companion is is a movie i love to watch once a year in this period and the breakfast club at least kim did not wear balenciaga for her christmas part well dario she wore it just a couple of days ago in la to their fashion show where she was seated front row just says, someone gift our VVIP homegirl Tamara a membership. Could you imagine? James says, Merry Christmas from New Brunswick. Merry Christmas, James. Heaven says, yay, Terry, I miss having a full house. My kids are grown visiting dad in Texas. I miss a full house. Nana says, Krachun Ferisit. Merry Christmas from Ro Romania. Merry Christmas to you too, sweetie. 
Zeitgeist says, Jacob, do you like uh, bedecking your house with Christmas stuff? No, not really. I, I decorate for Halloween and my Halloween decor is all year round. The Christmas tree, which I do have, is a Halloween Christmas tree. It's black and purple <laughs> and it's very thin. <laughs> Just letting you know. Um, Boo says, yes, they never like your post, but first to be there to watch my post, what I had for breakfast. Yeah, exactly. Fjord says, I think I need to read up on Paris Hilton. Always thought she was an airhead. No, I mean, we don't know her. We only see what she shows online, but. House is funny, like the kitchen, though, says Heaven Pascual. Feliz Navidad desde Puerto Rico. Feliz Navidad, Pascual. Heaven says, oh, I spelled name wrong. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Darius says, me likey Chanel unboxing. Yes. Oh, I missed seeing it, says Aish. Tanisha. Hello, Deco. I made it. Hi, Tanisha. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you made it. That Chanel pin was amazing. Thanks, Heaven. I still had people throwing shade at me, but I knew it was going to come. You know, they're like, oh, my God, are we still supporting that terrible brand? When they do great stuff, yes. When they do shitty stuff, no. It's that simple. Like, why is it so? Why, why, why does it have to be so difficult to understand? Why is everything so? Another New Year's Eve resolution. Shit doesn't have to be so extreme. Why do we all? Why are we so indoctrinated to always see everything as black and white? I don't know. I think these colors merge more as you get older. I think you just need more maturity. I think when you're younger, you're more extreme. Later on, things become a little bit more muted. Catherine says, oh, hi, Catherine Rosina. Hi, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sweetie. Hi, Anne. Paris is an icon. She seems so sweet. Heaven, Paris seems like she's grown up a bit. The Picky Ricky. Hi, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Picky Ricky. Alyssa says, I live to support kind, funny, talented, and pure-hearted people. It brings me joy. Thank you, Alyssa. Oh, you think passion is the opposite of hate? Maybe. I don't know. Melissa says joy is the opposite of hate. Tarima says, I love the real Shaquin. She keeps it real. She's so honest about after the baby and getting alterations. She looks beautiful. She is really beautiful. Boo says infatuation. What, is that the opposite of hate? Really? Infatuation is the opposite of hate? Art style says opposite of hate is gratitude. Liz says could be forgiveness. Hmm. Sometimes indifference hurts the one it's directed at more, says heaven. Indifference. Sylvia says indifference is the opposite of hate. But we just said indifference is the opposite of love. Uh, Fjord says, I like forgiveness. Carrie says, I would say the opposite of hate is also indifference. The point is that love and hate both require that you care about someone. In, in some way. That's a good point. That That's a really good point. Hi, Dave B. Cecilia says brilliant. He Hello, Louis says intelligence. Oh, Louis is on to something here. This is a really good point, you guys. Intelligence is the opposite of hate. Most people who say they hate something, it's because they are ignorant. That's good. That's, I think Louis wins for me with the de definition. I think this is so clever. Yeah, this is really good, you guys. Intelligence is the opposite of hate. That's good. Louis, that's, that's a good one. You nailed it, I think. This is really, gave me goosebumps. This is a good one. Letty says, happy holidays, dear Jacob and Fashion Bunker. Happy holidays, Letty. Much love and blessings to everyone. Tina says, admire is pretty opposite of hate. Jesus says, the least knobby dot is Feliz Navidad. Oh my God. Okay, got it. Got it, Jesus. Yeah, I'm, sl I'm so slow. Ha! Aisha says, yeah. Yes, Louis. Love you, day. Love you, doe. You know who Daphne Guinness? Yes, I know Daphne Guinness. What do you think of her style? Beautiful. J. Sam Mira. Hi, sweetie. 
Fjord says, forgiveness also includes a bit of indifference as you move on to more interesting topics. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's complex. Yeah. Indifference is a tricky one because we could like really go in depth and analyze its meaning in different cultures as well. Evan says, I wish there was snow today. That's perfect for the sleep. Well, we got some cotton candy snow here. AI cotton candy snow. Time is the ultimate luxury, baby. I, I agree with you, Melissa. Completely. Jacob and PJs with yummy eats and fighting baby Yoda off is how I see it. Yeah, baby Yoda. Always with the cookies. Uh, love sleeping during Christmas too. Yeah, it's just like sleepy time for me. You know, I go into my winter sleep bear mode. Cecilia says, loving Christmas time for exactly the same reason, just having time to unwind and be able to do totally nothing, which is what I love to do. <laughs> I'm never bored of not doing anything. Hi, Brad's doll. Merry Christmas, sweetie. I live on planet Earth for now. Ira says, a very Chanel cult leader vibes, that outfit. You best believe, huh? Hanny. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying sleeping late, says Dave. It's good, right? Sylvia says, I showed up to a family party for 20 minutes yesterday, then made an excuse, so I go home, DoorDash, sushi, and sleep. Ah, oh, brilliant. That's my type of event. Seriously. Pao says, my husband found me a delicious non-dairy oat eggnog, and it was great to drink for Christmas Eve with the family. Anna Christina, hello and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Anna. Um, Gloria says, he lives in a fashion bunker somewhere. I think it's an island with a Jacob jet. Oh, Gloria, you got it all figured out. Minnie Jeffrey says, Belgian chocolate. I love Belgian chocolate. For sure I do. I'm not going to say no to Belgian chocolate. Mm. Heaven says, yes, me too. So, uh, so I hid in my house. My bonus kids called me before my birth kids. The bonus kids called you before the birth kids. Oh, damn. Darius says, Death Becomes Her is a must watch during Christmas. Love Death. Also Meryl Streep and Isabella Rossellini and Goldie Hawn and Bruce Willis. Letty says, I'm actually enjoying my solitude and sadness so much that I'm happy. We'll go, we'll go. Love that. Love that for you, darling. A very Latina of you, huh? That, that, uh... You're living the telenovela inside of you. Love says, hello and happy holidays, Jacob and Bunker family. Hi, love. Merry Christmas. Oh, one of my favorite directors, Robert Altman. Love him. Nancy Karna says, hello. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody. Hi, Nancy. Merry Christmas. Heaven says, love, actually. And oh, my God, you love John Hughes. He's my favorite. I adore John Hughes. Corey K says, yes, I bought into Norman Rockwell Christmas holiday only to find out it was stolen by the Grinch. Uh-oh. One of my favorite movies ever, says Amy. The Breakfast Club. Smurfette says, I've been rewatching past seasons of American Harvest Story very fast. <laughs> Sultan Al-Mansuri. Ho, ho, ho. So happy to join. Hey, sweetie. Welcome. Monarch says, hi, Nancy. Heaven says, he was so happy all his movies. Taught me what family was supposed to be since my mom didn't. Yeah, John Hughes. There's a warmth in his movies that is just unreachable so and the fact that they were shot in the 80s for the most part different warmth different times you wouldn't be able to convey that same warmth today in movies i don't think so ophelia says hello bunker family merry christmas merry christmas ophelia heaven says i like uncle buck of course home alone one and two well home alone one and two john hughes did not direct those movies he did direct uncle buck 16 candles no more yankee my wank Aisha says, all Letty, you are not alone tonight. We are all here with you, my love. Patricia says, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Patricia B. Miss Taffy pulls Elvira with that outhouse on Insta, LOL. I didn't see it. What did she do on Insta? I'll, I'll check it out later. Heaven says, right. And those same peeps with the shade probably just bought a whole bag. Ah. Yeah, they're throwing shade a lot. But usually I get a lot of hate during the holiday season. I think all content creators do. It's nothing to do with what my content is about. It's just that a lot of people are miserable during this, this time of year. And I've just noticed throughout my 10 years of career on YouTube, always around December is when the comments get particularly vicious and brutal. People like leash out much more than the rest of the year because they are more sad, lonely, miserable this time of year. So I've kind of learned to not take it seriously as much as I can. The older you get, the more nuance you see in everything. I agree, Carrie, completely. 
Paris was right, though, about Kim and the trash bag and cottage cheese. Love is the opposite of hate. Okay. <laughs> I think we said worse than hate. And when you just gave up on hate, that's indifference. Ah, that's a good one, Heaven. The opposite of hate is compassion, says Art Style. Baba Yaga, good morning, Jacob, and Merry Christmas to you at 6.43 a.m. here in Malaysia, listening to you while going to work. Good morning, Baba Yaga, and Merry Christmas. Heartbreak, ho Heartbreak Hotel, I agree with that. You are unwilling to understand the person. Zara Justina agrees. I think, Zara, you agreed with Louis as well, right? Sultana Mansuri, indifference, opposite of hate, maybe. Miss Molly says, it depends on what you hate. I hate yogurt, says Miss Molly. <laughs> Bruno, how's it going, sweetie? Hello from France. Nice voice. Is that Boston accent? Uh, Bruno, um, is that a Boston accent? Well, not really. No, it's not. Although I could do a Boston accent. Not as well as Debbie, but Francesca Pagano. Ciao, Francesca. I made it to the live. Hello, sweetie. Did someone say cookie? Yeah, Dave, I love cookies. Miss Molly says, no, Fruyo is my favorite thing. Tam says, Merry Christmas, Dacon Bunker. Oh my gosh, so many people in the chat. This is amazing, you guys. I honestly did not expect such a turnout today. I thought I'm going to live stream for, you know, just like five of us who want to spend some time together and don't want to be lonely. But look at us. A bunch of people. This really warms my heart, you guys. This is amazing. Sunset and Moonlight says, sorry if you already covered this topic, but have we talked about the sudden interest for Carolyn Bissett Kennedy's style? I'm, I, I'm ashamed to say that I haven't even heard of her before. I mean, of course I've heard of her before. I mean, she's amazing, stylistically speaking. But uh, uh, yeah, we we mentioned her in the trends coming up for 2024 in my last live stream. So you can go check that out if you want to know more about her. Did you see the cute eyeshadow palette brooch? Yes, Carissa, I did. I did. Heaven says, Sunset, look her up. Oh, she was so amazing. She was older than me or close, and I looked up to her. Oh, Apple Blonde. How's it going, Apple? Look how many different people in the chat. Apple Blonde, hot chocolate, chocolate. That's my friends brought me from Spain and Sweden. Candles, books, and jazz. My evening tonight. Liz M says, dark chocolate. Candies for me. Carolyn was married to J.F. Kennedy Jr. Yes. Zara says, some kind of wonderful is my favorite. Oh, John. Uh... Uh, wait a minute let me google that now I'm, I'm confused with some kind of wonderful and she's having a baby sorry I, I have she's having a baby in my mind because Yeah, this this is why I was confused. This is not John Hughes. John Hughes wrote, but he didn't direct the movie. So his production house produced it. And some kind of wonderful, I love it too. But I, I, you got me like off guard there. I'm like, wait, hold on a minute. John Hughes did not do some kind of wonderful. Uh, and in fact, it was uh, Howard Howard Deutsch or Dutch. He did uh, some kind of wonderful. Howard directed a lot of the movies that John Hughes wrote and produced. But John Hughes, truth be told, he directed only a handful of movies. He got very, very depressed after John Candy passed away. He loved John Candy. So after John Candy passed away, he directed just one more movie with, with James or John Belushi, uh, uh, Curly Sue. Curly Sue was John Hughes' last movie, and it flopped. I kind of like Curly Sue. That one was shot in the 90s. But uh, he didn't direct many movies. John Hughes. He wrote a bunch of them, but directing only a few. Some kind of wonderful is beautiful. 142 likes. We got 200 people watching. Let's get to 200 likes. What say you? We only need 60, uh, 58 more likes to go. Thumb up the live stream. Oh, Francesca Pagano says, Merry Christmas, Jacob. It's almost 1 a.m. here in South Africa and it's summer. Finishing my Christmas day with your live. Oh man, that's amazing. In the heat. Well, Australia is also in the midst of summer, right? People project their misery, sad. Oh, Amy. Yes, they do, Amy. Oof. Miss Molly says, I'd love a good Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds, or Torn Curtain. Um, Iron Curtain. Isn't his movie The Iron Curtain, not Torn Curtain? Or am I mistaking myself? Heaven says, he didn't 
Um, I I could have sworn he did. All my life I thought this. Ha, did Hughes do adventures in... Ba no, he did not. Uh-uh. He did not direct that one. Talking... So, but... Uh, but let me tell you, so some of the things that I got for Christmas, and I mean, you know, I got myself the Gautier High 2. They have reformulated it. So I am happy that... Uh, and I, un I unbox... Actually, in the unboxing that beautiful box that I unboxed in one of the pre-shows. So that video is going to hit my Essentially Jacob perfume channel soon. So go follow me on Essentially Jacob on YouTube as well for perfume content. Uh, so this one, I unboxed it there. It is, uh, I'm going to, you know, do another review. I, I reviewed the predecessor, which didn't convince me because it didn't smell like the original 2005 to me. But now they've tweaked it. And this version that I just got, Musk, Vanilla, Amber, Woody, Amber, this one smells just like the original. And I have the original from 2005. So I'm very, very happy that they tweaked the formula and that they've... So Gautier by the power of two, I got this little baby uh, for myself, for Chrissy Missy. Hey, Jackie, Jack's Bag Attack, we are all home. The bunker is the best place to be. Yeah, it's chill here, right? Um, and then, yeah, perfume. So, oh, no, I left it in the other room. I kid you not. I actually have it in the bed. I sleep with it. I am that cringe. The um, Shalimar Milezim Iris. I love it so much. It's like right next to my pillow on the bed and that's where I left it. So I, I don't have it here to lift it and show you. But I got that one as well. That That's my end of year kind of like holiday treat. And then I got a couple of things here that I haven't unboxed yet. My mom got me something special. I wanted the Eau de Parfum of Coromandel and my mom is like yeah want the big one or the little one I was like no the little one for travel she's like oh, okie dokie so I got Coromandel Eau de Parfum because I do have the Eau de Toilette and I do have the Extra I have samples of the Eau de Parfum but I don't actually have a full bottle so we're going to do an unboxing of this I don't know if we're going to do it today if there's time enough to do it today or if we're going to do it extra for the perfume channel and of course, there's going to be an updated review of Coromandel because I have only reviewed the Extra and the Eau de Toilette, but we have not reviewed yet the Eau de Parfum. So thanks, Mom. Mama D got me Coromandel. And then um, I got myself another little treat, which we're also going to, of course unbox for the perfume channel and review in the upcoming weeks on the perfume channel but I can already show you here since we're talking Christmas this little Chanel beauty that came packaged in the gold beige blue box there's a little bit of blue sprinkles in there as well hi Maggie G Merry Christmas Jacob Maggie G's first time commenting because I usually watch on hubby's account on the TV. Well, Maggie, I'm so glad you commented. Merry Christmas to you too, sweetie. Merry Christmas, everyone, says Mickey. Merry Christmas, Mickey. Thumb up the live stream for everybody who's tuning in just now. Let's try to get to 200 likes. I love some kind of wonderful too. She's having a baby is amazing. I adore it. That is John Hughes. Carissa says, we couldn't make the 16-hour journey back home with a newborn, so it's a solitary Christmas for us, but I'm happy to be here with you all. Oh, I'm glad you're with us, Carissa. Talking about movies, I stopped by today where the best little whorehouse in Texas was filmed with Dolly Parton and was it, while I was driving to come to Houston, says Louis. Amy says, planes, trains, and automobiles, my favorite Thanksgiving film. That is John Hughes. He directed that one with John Candy and Steve Martin. Um, I do have a good memory. I know sometimes it scares me as well, but I, I'm glad I, I, I'm glad my brain is still working. Uh, Aish always loved Carolyn Bissett. There is a good YouTube documentary about her wedding. It was fascinating and quite portentous or portentous. That word, Aish, 
Girl, where did you pull that word out of? <laughs> the magic hat. Favorite Christmas movie is It Happened on Fifth Avenue. Old black and white film says Corey K. Uh, so, yeah. So, so then I should say, instead, I love John Hughes' direction and his writing and producing while my daughter loved Curly Sue. Yeah, she's amazing. See, I didn't know that. I just knew his name was on it. Learned something new. Yeah, John Hughes. But uh, his writing was amazing. He was also famous for his writing. So just because he didn't direct a movie doesn't mean the movie isn't good, you know. Monarch says, Jacob, like other people in the chat, I'm alone too. So having a live today is comforting. So thank you. Oh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Merry Christmas to you, Jacob. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, MJ, MJ. Thank you, Dave B, for thumbing up the live stream. Thank you. And uh, Melissa says, summertime and crazy electrical storms. I spent Christmas night in the dark with candles because our power went out. It was heaven. I mean, dangerous, but also kind of romantic to just spend Christmas with candles. I think that's kind of really cool in a way. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not bored without internet. Hey, Rosha Kishki. Happy days to you too, my love. Welcome. Uh, Jolie Simple Opinions has learned today that Chris Columbus couldn't work with Chevy Chase on Christmas vacation and that's why he ended up directing Home Alone oh interesting oh nice that Shalimar Milazim Iris uh, oh it's really really good yeah Mama D yeah she got me the thing sorry I'm really l late with the chats nice inside Jolie how nice of your mom yeah Cecilia my mom is the best oh nice Jacob says Aish Brittany says Merry Christmas Jacob Brittany Heavenly, Merry Christmas to you too. I hope you all are having an amazing day. We are. We're chilling. American Princess says, Hi everyone, Merry Christmas, Jacob, and Happy New Year. Very nice of Mama D. Yeah, she's a sweetie. I'm just going to count any work he did on movies. Ha! Hey, writing is just as important. I completely agree with you. Uh, Jesus, yes, it is. Chris and Tally. <laughs> Portentuous is like foreshadowing something serious and tragic to come. Ellie's Merry Christmas to you too, sweetie. Okay, I caught up with the chats. Apricus, Merry Christmas from good old little Switzerland. Merry Christmas to you too, Apricus. Look how cute this little box is this year. And yes. So we got Cristal, Eau de Parfum, the new Cristal. Well, whoa, we'll go, we'll go. So beautiful in this little box that's made for this size uh, bottles. Um, so yeah, it's still sealed. The batch code is nine. One zero one, as far as I can see. So we're going to do an unboxing of this one and a review. I just need to get out of my archives the old Eau de Parfum, so we're going to also compare the two. So this is also a little Christmas gift from me to me. You might be surprised about what I have to say about this one. Little teaser for you guys, just for now. <laughs> IYKYK. I, Y, K, Y, K, okay. Uh, even the box is lovely. Isn't it cute? Oh, the champagne is kicking in. Melissa, yes. I still haven't smelled that perfume yet. Mm. It's, we'll review it together. We'll review it together. Yeah. We'll review it together. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Liz. Merry Christmas to you too, sweetie. So there's that. And then, you know, we got the sunglasses from Chanel that you made fun of me because, like, they both looked at, like two pair of sunglasses that look, like, identical but, like, are not. <laughs> then we got the brooch. Let me show you the little, not brooch, the pin, uh, which is really, really splendiferous. I already packed it in tissue paper so it doesn't get you know, damaged. This is protected now. This little beauty we unboxed as well. Uh, and yes, these little bits inside are real tweed. Enshrined in crystal. So uh, go check out my uh, Jacob CC. I'll spell together. Instagram profile. You're going to see close-ups, close-up shots of 
of this little uh, museum, tweed museum, a little miniature Chanel tweed museum. It's so cute. I mean, the whole idea behind this brooch is really adorable. And the fact that it's so tiny makes it even more special. It's like a miniature little museum of tweed. They could have made it huge, but no, they went for tiny. It makes sense. But anyway, so that's that. Getting dressed head to head out for holiday dinner soon. Oh, boy. And I attach. Okay, got it. Um... Oh, Cristal, eau de parfum. Yes, yes, Zach. So we got that for uh, Christmas. We got Gautier by the Power of Two. I do recommend it if you can get your hands on the current formula because I don't know if they're going to reformulate it again. It did feel to me really nice that to, to, to see how Gautier has updated, like how they care for this perfume because since they've re-released it a couple of months ago or yeah was it almost a year ago now they kept tweaking it you know they didn't just re-release it and say whatever that's what you get they went back in they actually they retweaked the bottle the print on the bottle they perfected the print even the print is now different than what it used to be they've changed the description of the ingredients in the back uh They've updated the the box, even though they released it just a couple of months ago. So, like, I see an effort being made there to make it better. And I'm really, really liking what I'm seeing. So this one I would highly recommend. I also think the price is great. For 100 mil fragrance, uh, you're paying about 130 bucks or 100 euro, depending, you know, which country you're in. And yes, at the moment, it's not sold out. It's available on both Gautier America as well as Gautier Europe. 168 likes. Let's get to 200 likes. Um, this was the beauty. Well, you have to see the unboxing of it. But then it came with this Gautier uh, beauty case, like a vanity pouch. Super cute. There's a lot of goodies in, in here. So Gautier really delivered on the aspect of freebies when you order a perfume on their website like chanel could never <laughs> you know but you should check out that unboxing it's going to come to my channel to my perfume channel soon uh, if you are a tier two member or a tier two patron you would have already seen the unboxing in my latest pre-show saturday pre-show that's when it was filmed so yes this is another one of the extra perks that you do get as a tier two member and patron there's quite a bit of content uh, that I produce for my channel that is filmed live, kind of like secretly. It's filmed in the pre-show. So the people who are there in the pre-show watching it live, they get to see it sometimes weeks before it hits one of my other channels. Plus, in addition to that, there's a lot of content in the pre-show that stays in the pre-show and does not get published later. So our latest pre-show this past Saturday was almost four hours long. You can imagine it was a a lot like it's a lot of extra content you get every every weekend um if you're a tier two member or patron i work my butt off for the extra perks you don't just pay for extra perks and then like what do you get nothing <laughs> you know just letting you guys know so there's that now uh let's do the unboxing because um Beautiful says, my Christmas gift for me to me was the Shalimar Milazim Iris influence by a certain influencer. Not sure if you know I'm super D. Well, did it arrive? I'm a terrible enabler. But it's not like I'm telling you to buy 5,000 different perfumes. I mean, like, you know, I myself, yeah, okay, I bought a few. Okay, my mom got me Coromandel. I got myself Gautier, Cristal, Shalimar. Yeah, four. Heaven says, yes, I bought about that one or heaven can wait. A real dilemma. Oh, perfume. Thumb up the live stream. Miki says, recently I'm really into Frederic Mal perfumes, but I can't decide which one to buy. I mean, my favorite Frederic Mal is always going to be Carnal Flower. 
but you gotta be into a particular type of tuberose. Hey, legendary legend, living ferret. My Christmas gift, I read that one already. Not yet, hopefully tomorrow. Oh, fingers crossed, beautiful steps that it arrives so you can enjoy it. It's a beautiful, majestic perfume. Merry Christmas, Jacob. Hey, Merry Christmas, Ice Storm. Hope you're doing extraordinary. Thank you, doing my best. Nana says, I got myself a tower and a Roja Dove. I broke the bank. Uh-oh, they are expensive. Amy says, Carnal Flower is one of my favorite as well. Yeah, it's... You gotta be into tuberose. If you're not into... If you don't like tuberose, then stay away from Carnal Flower. Let's do this unboxing. I'm so excited about this. Oh, wait. No, let's do this first then. Carrie Fernandez just gifted five Super Deco memberships. American Princess was gifted a membership by Carrie Fernandez. Natasha Brown was gifted a membership by Carrie Fernandez. Jordan Camacho was gifted a membership by Carrie Fernandez. Honey Love was gifted a membership by Carrie Fernandez. Dave B was gifted a membership by Carrie Fernandez. Thank you so much, Carrie, and welcome to all the new tier one members. Merry Christmas. Look at these little Christmas pressies. Coming in. Coming in. Yas Quins. Merry Christmas. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mika Brock. Late for the Christmas party. Now nah, you're just in time. Congratulations, everyone. Let's do the unboxing. And don't forget to all the tier one members, uh, the first Saturday of the month, you also get access to the pre-show. And the first Saturday of the month is basically going to be the next Saturday live stream that we have in the new year, right? Because next Saturday, this coming Saturday, I'm... <sighs> Give a hoe a break. Let me have one Saturday where I can just pig out and sleep. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Let's do this. Hi, everybody. Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Tis the season. Very festive background here. Uh, we're going to do a wonderful unboxing. I am so excited about this thing because been planning this for months and months and months. Was not sure is it going to fit, not fit. How's it going to look like? Yada, yada. I'm super happy that... The culmination of the year happens with this little little nifty thing. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco Ball spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. Come join the fun. This is a, a, a holiday Christmas present that I made myself. And usually when there's an end of year present, uh, it's it's kind of symbolic to me, for me, um, for no religious purposes whatsoever. It's more about the thought of the end of the year. And I kind of, it's not really, a actually, this is not really a Christmas present. For me, this is a end of year present. To be perfectly honest with you, this for me is more symbolic of I've made it another year. Let me treat myself to a symbol, a token that symbolizes my life stepping into the next chapter. And Chanel, yes, Chanel, you know, when it does bad, it does terrible. But when it does good, it outshines everybody else. And from time to time, they do outshine you know, the rest of uh, of the brands. And I do love this brand, even though they have a lot of flaws in my humble opinion. And of course, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged in just my opinion. You can also follow me on Instagram, DacobCC, all spelled together, dedicated to Chanel. It's a fan account that I have, where you get to see close-ups of all of these pieces that I buy, love, and collect. So anyway... Um, this year's holiday ribbons and packaging is really beautiful because Chanel uh, actually created heavy metal covered with enamel and lacquer charms. So there's the camellia that you can repurpose. You can turn it into a choker. You can turn it into a brooch. You can turn it into, for smaller scarves and twillies, you can turn it into a little scarf kind of blocker. I've showcased how I do this in another video of mine where I unboxed a pair of 
uh, Los Angeles Cruise, like Barbie, Malibu Barbie vibe sunglasses from that collection. And there I placed the charm on a tiny little neckerchief and I showed you how that works. So these are really, really beautiful, very sturdy, not plastic at all, metal with enamel. So inside, so I got catalogs, here, whatever, I'm not going to, catalogs and then to protect it, I got another bag. <clears throat> it is a bag in a bag, I know. It is a bag in a bag, yes. And we have the tissue paper. <laughs> Thumb up this video if you're enjoying it. Um, this is really, really special. I love this little piece. And uh, in the chats, people are guessing already. Storm says, okay, it's perfume. Hmm. Somebody thinks it's perfume. Storm says it's too big to be perfume. Uh, but then you saw the little bag and you said now it's perfume. Uh, I wonder if it's the arm warmer. Oh, the leg warmers from the Cruise Collection. Nana says scarf, Kuro says brooch, American Princess says you deserve a day. Well, thank you guys so much. None of you guessed. Aisha says brooch, Amy says brooch. Maxi classic flap in a tiny bag like this. No, it's <laughs> a beret, Fifi Bonley says. Francesca Pagano says a fula. Driving gloves says legendary legend. Mickey says a camellia. Eyeglasses says eye storm. Wallet, snow globe, sunglasses, scarf, a merkin, a wallet, more eyewear, camellia. None of you guessed. Well, bracelet, no. No. You know what comes in a box like this, right? And Chanel 22 back says Maria B. Yeah, the munchkin version. And here we get the other charm with the heart. Uh, Maltese cross, jewelry, a watch, watch. Everybody's like, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Look at this little beautiful box. I just love this jewelry box. Fine jewelry. And uh, the only other piece of Chanel fine jewelry that I have is... The Platinum Ruban Ring, which is this one here. Love it to bits. They discontinued it. Um, but I did ask my sales associate, hey, can it be made to order? Because I want more of these. I want to stack them. She's looking into it. But this is not that. So uh, what I do with these ribbons, I like to keep them intact. How beautiful is this, y'all? Just oh. so we're just gonna slide them, slip and slide, and I'm and uh and I'm not going to damage the ribbon. And I love this piece. It is so unexpected um, because not many people have gotten the taste for this yet. But I have a sneaky suspicion. People are going to start to want to wear this. Ooh. And we got the little leather pouch inside. Hiding and waiting. It's at the bottom of the, as you can see here, that's where they put that little pouch. And yes, we had a discussion about these pouches. Some people said, say that, uh, oh, they're pleather. No, it's actually lambskin leather. These little tiny pouches for the jewelry are in leather. Thankfully, at least something Chanel is giving us here. And then we pull this to help. Well, that doesn't really help much, but uh, it actually helps for the booklet with the authenticity certificate. All the codes are in here, the paperwork. Yeah, the certificate of authenticity is in here. It's in this little booklet. <laughs> so, um, Heaven says he's a tease for sure. Mickey says it must be a ring. Gloria says the suspense. Um, oh, 
Oh no, this side. All right, here you go. Oh, Claire Bear. And I think Jizzus also guessed it and Claire Bear guessed it as well. It is indeed super small. I know, it's not a ring. It's an earring, you guys, and it's a cuff. Look how tiny it is. And it is a Coco Crush yellow gold cuff. Very pirate, actually quite Vivian Westwood. It is so tiny. <laughs> But I will show you how it looks like. I just, so it's no diamonds, yellow gold. And we're gonna put it on. Done. It's so minimal, but I love it to bits. There you go. And from now on, basically almost every live stream, you're gonna see me with this little tiny earring, the Coco Crush pirate looking ear cuff. It's a single earring. It's not a double. It's it's not two. It's not a pair. It's just one. Um, and uh, you could technically stack them. You could buy several. But uh, I just love this little tiny detail that you can see or not see. It's very subtle. I like the fact that it doesn't overpower you, but it glistens just that little bit. You know, when you turn around, it catches the light just a tiny bit and then it's gone again. And you know, if you put the hair in front, of course you don't see it. It doesn't dangle, it doesn't, it's not in your way, you know, it's very, but it has something piratey about it. Something unconventional for Chanel standards and Chanel has become quite conventional. I, you know, if I do say so myself, but Rose's Raw, Raw Reality says it adds something special without being in your face. And this is why I like it. Claire Bear says, does it feel secure? Love the look of a cuff, but feel I'd lose it. It's very tricky. I would never wear this to go dancing. Never. This It, it is easy to pull it off. It is. Uh, so I will be enjoying this cuff in the fashion bunker. You know, if I go to some special event, like, uh, you know, to the ballet, to the opera, where I'm just sitting and not moving too much, not like, you know, fiddling, diddling with the hair, then yes, this is not something you wear to go jogging, to do sports, to go to the club, uh, you know, walk of shame, you know, spend the night somewhere, one night stand, no. This is not the earring for that. This is an earring for a very peaceful moment. Hi, Vel. Happy holidays, sweetie. Love the cufflet. Thank you. Thank you. And I love their yellow gold of the three colors of the, the beige gold, the white gold, and yellow gold. I will always first choose their, for the Coco Crush, I will first choose their yellow gold. Like if I have to go for gold, because they don't do platinum, so if I have to go for gold, I will always first choose yellow gold and then beige and then white gold. But if I go for gold, I want it yellow. Uh, but my preference is platinum, but they don't do these in platinum. So I got my platinum ring, but this thing is um, yellow gold. Smurfette says it's very IYKYK. Yes, and there is no... Chanel logo on it on the outside it's only on the inside so on the outside I mean I can try to take a photo for you quickly so you get to see a little bit of the detail but you can check it out online as well I think Chanel has it on their website worldwide at the moment so you can see how the cuff looks like with the matelassé quilting structure so it might appear green with a green screen so it might look transparent to you no okay it captures it quite well so this is how the earring looks like close up I just took a photo now for you guys and I'm holding it between two fingers so this is one side of the earring They do only come in one size, but it's not a problem because they slide on the ear to the spot where the ear thickens. So it doesn't matter really. It's not like when we get chubbier or skinnier, our ears don't get 
bigger or smaller as we lose weight. You know, it's cartilage and, and skin. Uh, and this is the side of it. Very interesting. It's thicker on one side and thinner on the other. So from my understanding, from my understanding, that little thicker side goes on the back of the ear and the thinner side in the front. That's how it's most comfortable for me. For me. But maybe somebody wants the thicker side in the front. And here is the last picture. I'm holding it with my thumb so you get to see it as well. Big close-up there of the matelasse quilting of the earring. So let me know your thoughts and prayers down below. What do you think about this? Is it, you know, we'll, we'll go, we'll go. I hope you've enjoyed it. That's my little present for me to me for surviving another year and having, working, having, having been working my ass off every day. So this is a little treat. Love you loads. Thoughts and prayers down below. Thumb up this video if you liked it. Subscribe. And until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Bye. Mwah. So uh, there you go. Uh, I can't believe we started losing views. I guess you did not appreciate as much. Oh, well. It is what it is. We, that was the unboxing. We lost a few viewers, but you're going to come back. It's normal after an unboxing, I guess. After an unboxing, it's normal that we lose some viewers and then we gain them again later. But I'm going to keep the earring on for the rest of the live stream. So cute, says Legendary Legend. I want one, says Aish. That's going to be so extra pretty when you stack, love. I mean, I don't know if I would... If I would really stack them, because I'm worried if you stack too many, they're going to get heavy. And if they push too much down, they might slide off. So be very careful, you guys, if you want to, if you're, if you're going to stack them. Um, that... That so suits you, and I love it. Thank you, Amy. Love it, says Francesca. Very nice, says Corey K. It's the perfect size, says Rose Raw Reality. Congrats, Jacob, says Amandeep Bueller. Congrats, Jacob Gloria. Love it, says Smurfette. Thank you, guys. Okay, so you approve. My people approve. Good. Super cute ear cuff, says Zara. And thank you, guys. Very Westwood. Yes, it's, it's, it's very um, piratey. Tiny little thing. Captures the light just right. I really like the subtlety of it. Uh, and, you know, gold is quite heavy. Not as heavy as platinum, right? Platinum has a higher density than gold. But um, it's a small little object, so it's very concentrated in one spot. So when you're holding it in your hand, it's quite hefty. It's quite hefty. And it does have the Chanel logo on the inside etched into the, the earring. So it's really... Very kind of haute couture of them, you know. They do not show the logo on the outside. Same with the platinum ring. The logo is hidden on the inside. Uh, exactly, Melissa. Not everything has to scream Chanel at you. Subtle, darling. Exactly. You know, exactly. Nancy, it is very nice. Thanks, Nancy. Jacob seems to have a knack for these tiny accents, like the Vivian Westwood bumblebee. Fjord, I love the tiny little accents. Yes, I really, really do. I think sometimes they make a bigger statement than an over-the-top jacket, sweater, bag, something like huge. Because, you know, truth be told, sometimes those bigger pieces, they swallow you up. And then they kind of end up wearing you. You don't wear them. Uh, while with these little intelligently placed I, this is fine jewelry but you're still accessorizing yourself with it you know like when you accessorize yourself in the right way then you can elevate your look and uh with tiny tweaks and it it to does more for you than if you just like go all poster poster chic you know that can also be fun and playful but there's another effect with it. There's a whole other result you obtain if you go all out, you know, guns a-blazing. Jolie, simple opinion. Thank you for upgrading to Tier 2 membership. Thank you, sweetie. It's subtle and chic, Audrey. The accessories make the man. Yeah. 
Edu says, hi, sweetheart. Hi, everyone. Hi, Edu. Welcome to the chat. Yes. Don't want to be a walk and talk and billboard. Right? It, you know. Oh, thumb the live stream. Oh, my God. 198 likes. Let's get to 200 likes. We need two more likes. And then let's go into the 300s. And uh, I want to play a game with y'all. Skikutu says, suits you well, Jacob. Thank you. Thank you so much. 199 likes. Cha. It's like pulling teeth. Ah. Oh. Elegance with a slight chic edge. Ski couture, that's the thing. It is slightly edgy, but uh, it's also kind of a con conforming chic because, I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking, obviously. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a Chanel earring for crying out loud. It's nothing groundbreaking. 202 likes. Yay! Thank you, guys. Let's get to 300 likes, and I want to play a game with you. Do you want to try to... Should we play the picture game? Bubbles draws a picture, and in the chats, you type out what you think Bubbles is drawing. It's hilarious, and it can be really weird. Um, no, I don't want... Audrey, I don't like piercings. I, I don't want to have holes in my body. I I mean, I, I, I like the holes I nature gave me. The, the holes that nature already gave me, I love to use them. <laughs> but I don't, I'm not, I'm not the type. I don't like piercings for me. Uh, I don't like tattoos for me. I love it on others. You know, I, I find them also really sexy on other people. Um, tattoos and piercings can look beautiful. It's an art form. It really is an art form. I like my skin the way nature made it. I love that. I love the forms, the shapes, the imperfections that nature gave me. That's what I love. But if you love to, you know, do the piercings and the tattoos, I'm all for it. I support it fully. It's just not me. Uh, literally dying right now, Melissa. Yes, I mean, I'm, I, we keep it real. I love my holes, but uh, <laughs> you know, I don't need extras. The ones I have already give me a lot of happy moments and joy. <laughs> oh, holy night, honey. Oh, legendary legend. Oh, you best believe. We like holes in others. Yes, Jesus, we do. Every hole is a goal, like Jesus says. And Jesus is our wise man today. It is his day, after all. And Jesus is in the chat, boobs and all. Devon Short, Merry Christmas, Deco. Merry Christmas, sweetie. Roses Rob Reality, laughing. I'm telling you. We'll go, we'll go. So I opted for a tattoo. It would be with white ink. Oh, Liz, I love that. I've seen a couple of white ink tattoos. And they're very interesting how they like kind of visible, invisible. Yeah, Amy, we respect everybody who loves tattoos. I have some friends that have tattoos all over their body and they look incredible. They are like walking artworks. Love it. Really love it. Really love it. Really respect it. On me, I just, I like my skin the way it is. But to each his own, right, Amy? Every hole a goal, baby. Um... The hoes are hoeing, says heaven. Yes, honey, we be thirsty. End of end of year, thirsty, honey. Jesus came and was resurrected. Louis, I'm an equal opportunity hoe lover. Uh, Melissa, baby, you're in the right place, honey. You best believe. <laughs> Big boobs, huh? Well, uh, so anyway, so well, look at your profile picture, Jesus. What is that, a D cup? Happy birthday, Jizzes. And Jizzes is like, thanks, Amy, my dear elegant lady. Red ink is my favorite, red, says Nico. I have nothing but reg regrets. Uh, says Heaven. Smurfette says, love my tattoos. They all have personal meaning. And this is why I said, I understand the artistry and I understand the psychology behind it. And I was telling you guys a couple of months ago, actually several times, I repeat this from time to time. Paul, yes, happy Christmas, everyone. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad a ti también. 
Polly, um, my dad, may he rest in peace, he was, you know, when I would come visit and stay, he would always make me a fresh pressed orange juice or tangerine juice, whatever was in the house. And he would always sense when I was about to wake up, I don't know how. But he would. And every time I would wake up, I would find next to my bed a fresh pressed orange juice. The orange juice was not waiting like two hours there, like sedimentating. It was always fresh. How he managed to always know when I was about to wake up, God only knows. The symbology. What does this have to do with tattoos? Well, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again now. If I were to ever get a tattoo, it would be a half full orange juice glass right here so if i were to get a tattoo it would be my dad's glass of orange juice and it would be half full so i understand the tattoo being connected to a very special moment in your life that has very particular symbolic meaning and i apply Coincidentally, that same thought process when I purchase products, if I purchase a perfume, same mental process. When I purchase costume jewelry, uh, fine jewelry, oh, here, costume, well, no, this was a gift. The the cross, the, the, the pin, when I purchase costume jewelry, when I purchase fine jewelry, everything has a very, very sp specific meaning for me, right? And tattoo is the same. I think that tattoo would be beautiful, says Danitza. It would. That's that's the only tattoo that I think I would get if I were to ever get a tattoo. Because it has a very, very strong meaning to me. Um, I have two tiny tattoos, very personal, very hidden from view. I bet you'd never find them. Legendary legend. You naughty, naughty, naughty legend. <laughs> <laughs> Letty says that was so sweet Jacob I can see the emotion in your face yeah no my dad it was very very special and I think that form of love to immortalize that in a tattoo like that th then it makes sense to me it has a very strong meaning and visually it's always there I always see it whenever I look at it right so anyway that just a little bit more about me another piece of the puzzle as they say uh, but uh Okay, let's try the game. Are you ready to play a little game? Get your eggnog, get your chips, get your drinks on, whatever you have in the house. Let's see what Bubbles is going to do for us. So everyone can play this game, okay? Everybody can play the game in the chat. Uh, in the chat, you just have to type what you think Bubbles is drawing. <laughs> So let's try. I've never played this one before. Let's let's play. Okay, so try to guess the drawing. Of course, boner would be the. <laughs> it's like there's an arm missing. Why do we always end up like that? Why are we so ratchet? Why is bubbles and my minds always in the gutter? Why can't it be an innocent example of, yes, bone? Sure. But is this the example we're given? Bone. Okay. Well, we'll go, we'll go. Of course, bone would be uh, the uh, example in the fashion bunker. Um, anyway, heaven is like, it's been a while. Uh, use the chat to, find, uh, to, um, to send your guesses. That's the instruction. So how to play? Try to guess what Bubbles is drawing. Use the chat to send your guesses. We are at the first level. We're playing the Gartic, you see, Art, G Art, Ick, uh, on stream game. And uh, if we're ready, we can start. No, we're not ready. All right, we're still setting up here. Hold on. But uh, Bonafide, right, Legendary? Yeah, sure, Bonafide, because, like, it's not Boner, it's Bonafide. Is it a bib? Uh, Ratchet Hose posing as elegant and affluent gentry. Oh, Amy, the ratchetry, the ratchetry of it all, darling. The ratchetry. Boneless pizza. Cha. Listen, this will bring out the worst in me. I am competitive. Uh-oh, heaven, be careful. <laughs> heaven, 
Heaven is giving me major uh, Rose Nyland from the Golden Girls vibes. You know how Rose Nyland gets super competitive? Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you about the earring. You know, yellow gold and gold in general is quite a soft metal, so it scratches easily. Uh, and I would like to get the small version of the ring, of the Coco Crush ring, and I would like to stack them, but they will scratch. Another reason why I wanted the earring is because it's not going to scratch, ever. You know what I mean? It's not on your fingers, you're not hitting stuff with your fingers, you're not washing dishes with it and you forgot to take the ring off. Before you know it, you scratched it. You know, it's on the ear, it's very protected up there, it's going to stay nice and shiny for a very, very long time. So I think in, in earring form, this little thing is like very, very suited. Uh, you know what I mean? Anyway, I forgot to say that in the video, but whatever, we'll go, we'll go. Yeah, it scratches easily, Smurfette, but not when it's on the ear because it's not on the... F anyway. All right, we're waiting for the host to start. The host... No, we're not there. Uh, wait, is Bone an X or have we started? No, 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 it's just an example, Heaven. We have not started yet. The program is still loading. Bear with me. I will let you know as soon as it's ready. Bubbles is... Um, uh, rendering at the moment bubbles is like still showing me like wait 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 so hold on a minute we haven't started yet hey cookie monster 75 taking a break so i can play the game merry christmas hey sweetie merry christmas cookie monster fifi bonley rose loved winning rose was super competitive super competitive like super competitive <laughs> And uh, geriatric on stream. Cha Gartic, babes. Jesus, you need glasses. Babe. Yeah, Gartic, right. Bubbles is being the naughty elf, always. Uh, that's what I read too, Jesus. Everybody read geriatric? Okay, well. American Reader says, have to honor the 12 days of Christmas and get five golden Chanel rings. You best believe American Reader. Well, with time, slowly. It takes me a couple of years. A couple of years ago, I bought the ring. Now I bought this. I take my time. When I'm good and ready, I add a little bit more. No, there's no rush. There's no rush, you guys. No FOMO. That's what she said. Okay, Bubbles is ready. Okay, guys. Get ready for Bubbles to draw something and you in the chats type in what you think Bubbles is drawing. I don't know how the winner wins. We'll, we'll just have to, we'll have to see. Let's play the game and see how it goes. Okay guys, are you ready to rumble? Hit it Bubbles. There's a countdown. Huh. Okay, so hits zero of seven, level one. Okay, number three looks like a, I don't want to say it, like a, what the? Wait, how many drawings are we guessing here? Is, why are they all number three? I don't understand. How many, well, I thought there's gonna be just one drawing. What is this? Nobody guessed, it's zero hits out of seven. But there's nine drawings, why is there seven? What is going on? Nobody guessed anything, I guess. I guess one is a race. Formula One race, oh, kayak, kayaking. Oh, jumping. Is that a tricycle? Melissa! Melissa won tricycle. Oh, these are pants or jeans? Car? Grenade! Amy! Amy won jeans. Heartbreak found radio. Carrie found grenade. Bubbles is drawing grenades on Christmas. Like I can't. Oh, wedding! Wedding! We marriage! Marriage! Wedding! Oh, steering wheel! Steering wheel! Steering wheel! Steering wheel! Jordan got it. Kayaking. Streetlight. Race. Car race. Formula One. Ah. <laughs> Jolie's simple opinion found bush. Of course, the Jolie, you got a bush. Eight hits out of seven. Powell found out something. I missed it. I, I, I still don't understand. These numbers mean nothing to me. Linda, listen, Linda, you found Mary. Nine, nine, ten hits out of seven. Jolie found monster. That was a monster? 
What will go will go. Okay, skip two levels. Oh, we did that well? Jolie got three points. Melissa, one point. Amy, one point. Heartbreak, one point. Carrie, Jordan, Powell, Linda, all of you got one point. Or one star. And uh, Jolie's Simple Opinion got three stars. Brad Stahl is like, that was hard. Just is like, um, <laughs> toilet paper. <laughs> So it's six picks at a time. Well, it was nine picks. That was confusing. I guess like you, I guess. So from what I understood here, Bubbles is drawing nine pictures or six or seven. And, and we had to reach seven to like, we had to guess seven to move to the next level within a given time frame. And so that's what happened here. Within the given time frame, we had to reach a minimum of seven correct guesses and we reached more than seven. So they upped us to level three immediately. I guess that's how it works. They did not go together, Nancy. Yeah. So this was level one, Mickey. Now we're jumping to level three. Good God, can you imagine us all drinking and doing this as Gloria? <laughs> Heaven is like, God, oh, no, Gloria. <laughs> Cheers, sweetie darlings. Let's do level three. Legendary legend. Those drawings went from a pumpkin to something. Yeah, I also thought there was a little penile phallic moment. Okay. Now we need a minimum of eight. We need to guess at least eight drawings to move on to the next level. Now I understand. So we need to guess at least eight. Ah, Zara Justina, you found one. Tire. Star, star, star. Mickey, you found snake. Oh, starfish, Nancy. Well, oh, Linda guessed something too. I missed, what, what, did, what did Linda guess? Couch, sofa, armchair. I'm giving you help, guys. I'm not playing because I can't type, but uh. Truck, armchair, well done, Dave. Um, oh, MJM, computer, the Nectarine Man, tractor. We did it, seven out of eight, we need one more hit. Corset, the, the first drawing, isn't that a corset? Like a Gautier corset? It's a corset, Letty and Gloria, yes. Oh, that's an instrument, oh, the horn. The horn, honey, horny horn. Bunny toy, child playing with a bunny. Rings of Saturn, forbidden. Pie, what is the first one? Cookie, door, uh, oh, short, short. N found the door, well done, short. Somebody type in short. I think it's the short person, tall person. Or growing, pizza, slice of pizza. Cha, pizza slices. Pizza. Growing. Cookie? What's the little girl have a cookie? Sponge. Is, is that SpongeBob, the yellow thing? Small. Oh, Jacob. Oh, Jolie. Play. We did it, Joe. Oh my God, we're skipping three levels. Okay, level three ranking and then total ranking. So Jolie Simple Opinion is still number one with four stars. Listen, Linda, you're number two with two stars. Melissa is third and everybody else is with one star after that. Zara Justina won level three. I guess time-wise. And then Mickey, Linda, Nancy, Dave, MJM, The Nectarine, Gloria, Letty, Ann, and Jacob. Heaven is like, play? Oh, I suck. <laughs> Jesus is like, good lord. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> now, Carrie says, this is so much fun. Cecilia is like, so much fun. I love this, says N. Nana says, love it. My eyes are closing. Good night. Catch you later. Love it, but I love that for you. Good night, guys. <laughs> Jesus is like, girl, I got IBS from this. Cha, poo the poopage of it all. Dave is like, I love it. Okay, guys, are you having fun? Should we go to the next level? 
Should we do the next level? Or... Yes. Okay. All right, let's go, guys. Everybody's like, yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's see. There's a lot of circles. Oh, window. I think the number ninth is like a window. Or maybe is it like prison, jail, building. Oh my God, MJM. Coin, Polly. Oh, is, is the first one a kangaroo? Lollipop, pop, head, Daria. Look at you guys. You're great. We need 10 hits to pass to the next level. At least 10. Pencils. Frying pan. Mahones Kileki. Telephone. 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 Yeah, you get Ectorine Man. Telephone. Oh, top. Tank top. Tank top. Oh, what's this thing called to cook? To roll the dough. Rolling pin. Duh. Oh, living ferret. Is that a ferret? I swear to God, if that's a ferret, like, that cannot be a ferret. Oh, a weasel. Oh, it's an otter. Okay. Live an otter, live an otter, live an otter, live. <laughs> Loaf of bread. A guitar, guitar. It looks like a guitar. Like number one, two, three. Oh, the numbers are the points you get if you guess. Venus. Wow, how did you guess that? Loaf of bread, slice of bread, bread slice, mountain climbing, Brittany Heavenly. Oh, mole. Ah, you got a nectarine man. Leaf, leaf. Oh, oh, guitar. What's that thing, the purple thing on the guitar to play the guitar? Jordan and Gloria. Per you guys, you guessed Pir Piranha. Guitar pick. Uh, butch, the butcher. How the hell? Oh, we did it, Joe. Skip three levels. We did great. Okay, total ranking. Jolie, Simple Pinion, and Nectarine Man are together at the top with four stars. Jordan follows them with three. And then we got Linda, Melissa, Pau, MJM, Gloria, Retinos, Majones with two stars. And then we got Amy and Heartbreak with one star each. And level six ranking, this level we just played now, Nectarine Man takes the cake with three stars, followed by Mahones, Jordan, and then one stars each for MJM, Polly S, Pau, Daria, Heaven. Heaven, you made it to the list! Melissa, Ophelia, and Alberto. American Princess is like, this is good! <laughs> Legendary Legend is like, am I blind? This thing lying and not taking my answers, LOL, says Heartbreak Hotel. Maybe somebody typed it in before. I'm questioning my university education. <laughs> it's a double challenge when English is not your first lang language. Well, yeah, a little bit. Hey, Cookie Monster. Oh my God, I need my inhaler. Where are my ADHD baddies at? Says <laughs> Jesus. Ah, oh, Jacob is losing it. Jacob, so creative. Living ferret. Okay, Bubbles. Let's see what Bubbles is going to draw for us in level nine. Are you ready? We skipped another three levels. Level nine. Hit it. Uh, Heaven says, if it was one pick, I'd be okay. Heaven, then I, I recommend you focus just on one. Don't look at all of them. Focus randomly just on one and try to guess that one. If it's too confusing to look at all of them. I think this is another snake. And plus, I'm giving you hints as well, guys. Because, like, I'm just telling out loud what I think is being drawn. Sky, Katie, well done. Key, is this a keychain? Is it a tree ornament? That thing that looks like a teddy bear? Chicken and an egg? Egg and duck? Nurse! Serpent! Not snake, but serpent! Era guest bed. Tree ornament, right? The little keychain? Key ring? What is that thing? Oh, butter! Butter, Carrie, you got it. 
keychain. Uh, Jesus, wait, well done, sweetie. Is that a tampon? Oh my god. Is number three a tampon? Like, I can't even. Oh, soap, okay. <laughs> I mean, okay, we'll go, we'll go. We'll go, we'll go. Oh, keyboard. Computer, keyboard, laptop. Oh, egg and a chicken. Quail. Jesus. Jesus, if that's a quail, I don't, I, I'm gonna die. Like, I can't. Where did it come from? Which hole did it come from? Ah. We'll go, we'll go. Oh, clown. Evil clown. Water balloon on top of a door? What's... Receptionist. Quail egg? No way! <laughs> ah! Ah! Jesus! <laughs> egg not the quail egg please oh my god <laughs> Jesus bye girl girl bye uh, Jolie is a number one with five stars together with nectarine man and then Jordan MJM carry follow with three and then we got the two stallets Linda S Melissa Paul Gloria Rathinos Mahones and Heartbreak Hotel Level 9 has been won by Carrie Fernandez with two stars, followed by the one stallets, Cecilia, Katie, MGM, Roses Raw, Reality, I think, Ira, Jesus, Nectarine, hey, Jesus, you made it to the list, Nectarine Man, Jolie, Simple Man, Heartbreak Hotel, and Danitza. Jesus, you made it on the list, Bipes. Pow is like, that was not a quail. Pow. Maybe that was a quail after it had been places. It's a quail that has been places and it's now back from the places it's been. That was a duck and a Yoshi egg, says Carrie Fernandez. Honey, that was a quail, says Jesus. Mm. The Nectarine Man, I came for the fashion tea and I stay for the picture games. It was a muddy quail. Well, you know, this is our holiday edition, you guys. We're just chilling and playing games together. Ready for level 10? Hit it, Bubbles. Heartbreak Hotel is like totally in it. Run it! Next level. Bring it on, baby. Ooh, is that a pin? Drawing number four. Pin, maybe? It it's a pin, scrumb scrumbly. Uh, Apricus, a ramp. Then we got a ducky. Is that a is that a ducky? Like a rubber ducky? Toy. Oh, uh, a person in the um, in the K. Oh, fireman. It's a fireman. A fireman. Monkey. P Gloria, Katie, look at you. Monkey. Firefighter. There you go. Not fireman. Firefighter. Duh. Wait, isn't... Yeah, a chimpanzee! Ah, oh, Linda. That's good. You did great. Compass! Letty, you did great. Oh. Is, is picture number nine, like, Africa? On a, on a Chanel Dakar, Chanel Dakar necklace with the continent of Africa from Goussons. This, this, this is how far I go. We need, uh oh, we're gonna lose the game, you guys. We have nine guesses, we need 12. We need to guess 12 to make it to the next round. Evolution, the, the chimpanzee, evolution. Somebody type in evolution of, of mankind, evolution. Friendship. Oh, sister. Sister. Travel. Evolution. Evolution. It's not evolution? What is it? Oh, oh. Punching ball. Punching ball. Boxing. Angry. Alone. Evolve. Oh, my God. 
So it, it is a evolution, but it doesn't accept it. It has, you have to write evolve. Oh, Carol has a little kiss. Jolie's simple opinion is at five stars together with the Nectarine Man, followed by four Stalets, MG, MJM and Linda. Three Stalets, Jordan, Carrie, Gloria, two Stalets, Melissa, Pau, Mahones, Heartbreak. Winners of level 10, Linda, with two stars. And then we got the one Stalet, Scrumble, Apricus, Carol, MJM, Katie, Gloria, Legendary, Letty, Alberto, Jags, Bag Attack. Jackie, you made it to the list. Way to go. I mean, Catherine is like brutal. <laughs> Carol is like, I get one. Yes, you did. You get one. Good job, you guys. Listen, Lindas, we're, we did it. It was it was a close call. But we did it, and we we overstepped the limit, which is really, really good. Cha, let me spray a little bit of perfume because I'm getting all, like, sweaty and excited. Let me freshen up, Linda, for the next level. Oh, this smells divine. Okay. Oh, wearing Gautier. Mm-hmm. Yes, Queens. The bowel movement of it all, Jesus, right? We're all going to poop really healthy after this game. If you've had some indigestion issues after eating so many carbs during the holiday season, this game will help us poop. Not, obviously. But uh, let's play the next level. I'm all perfumed for the gods. Era is like, more, more, more. Oh, look, it's like Bubbles is drawing more slow now to trick us, to give us less time to guess. And we need to guess 13 drawings if we're going to pass to the next level. Bubbles, I see what you're doing. Frog! Frog! Yeah, you did it, Jolie. Climbing a mountain, mountain climbing, hiking, climbing. Wink, I read twink. Climbing, there you go, we did it. Flag, Nectarine Man. Oh, gun, a pistol, a gun, a gunshot, uh, what's it called? Newspaper Bakery Mafia, rifle, thank you, Alberto, rifle. Um, oh, tent, circus tent, could it be circus tent? Electric fence, I would have never guessed that one. Oh, oh, finish line, marathon, oh my god. Oh, death. Death is with the scythe. The Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper. Adult, pray, yas, Grim Reaper. Reaper or Grim Reaper? Is it? Oh my god, we're gonna lose. 11 of 30. We need two more hits. Scythe! That was not fair, Bubbles. You drew the Grim Reaper with the scythe. Bamboo! Oh my god. Blade! Oh, 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 oh! Um, the green pod! The pea in a pod! Pea! Green pea! Green pea? Lips, mouth, broken heart. Heartbreak! Heartbreak! Broken heart. Oh, toothpaste! Toothpaste. Weights. Lifting weights. Oh, it's over. Oh, we're skipping two levels. We did it, Joe! Cha. The anxiety. So, um, Nectarine Man just made it to the top of the list with eight stars. Jumped up one slot, and Jolie's simple opinion is now a, a second position with seven stars. Four stars for MJM and Linda and Jordan and Carrie. Three stars for Gloria, Melissa, Alberto, and Katie. Two stars for Pau. And the winner of level 12 is the Nectarine Man with three stalets, followed by Jolie's simple opinion with two. And the one stalleteers are Cecilia Bakery, Alberto Jordan, and Heaven. Heaven, you made it again. Melissa, Katie, and Natalie Dietz. Uh, Jolie, thank you for becoming a member, sweetie. Uh, the Nectarine Man's like, Hanny, I'm winning this, sh this Chanel sticker. <laughs> Stickolets. Stickolets. Uh, let's play the next level, level 14. 
you know Bubbles is gonna be drawing even slower. Danitza is like, stop being so fast, y'all. I wanna guess one too. The Stickolets, Katie. It's Chanel Stickolets. All right, let's do level 14. Stick people. <laughs> okay, we need 14 hits. Rectangle. Swimming pool, frisbee, toilet paper, uh, human, camera. That looks like a clo clo cloaca. Parking lot. Wow. Oh, spotlight. Spotlight, lips, mouth, bull, horns. Dog with horns? Cow? Is that a cow? Choo choo train. Train. Locomotive. Sofa. Cow and train. Pirate. Is that a pirate? It was a pirate! Oh my god. Okay, I guessed one. Uh, uh, is that a boat? Sailing into the sunset pudding. Smiley face. Toothpick. Bakery Mafia got it. Computer. Computer? No. Programming. Hacker. Whisper. Wow, Alberto. I would have never guessed that one. That one was really hard for me. Fishing. Fishing on the sea. Moonlight. Sunset. Uh-oh, we're gonna lose, guys. <gasps> 10 or 14. We still need three. We need four more hits to pass on to the next level. Otherwise, we're done. Four more hits, otherwise we're done. Spotlight, light. Is that a penis? What is that thing? Oh my god, Bubbles. Oh, flirt. Tattoo. It's almost over. Telescope. Melis oh my god, we need one more hit. It's over. We need one more hit, you guys. Ah, it's, it's ending. No. <laughs> no, we lost. <gasps> Oh my God, heaven! Heaven literally saved our asses in the last second. Heaven saved our asses like literally in the last second. That was such a close call, but heaven saved us. Wow. That was like, it, it, it like, it cut it like, wow. I mean, wow. Nectarine Man is first, yes. And, uh, congrats, heaven, you win nothing, says Jesus. Jesus, oh, oh, we just love a sarcastic Jesus on, on Christmas. Please, someone save me, says heaven. Nectarine Man is first with eight stars, together with Jolie's simple opinion. Carrie uh, with five stars is next, and then the four stallets. MJM, Linda Jordan, and Alberto with Bakery Mafia. And then three stars for Gloria, Melissa, Katie. Winner of level 14 is Bakery Mafia with three stars. Then we got Catherine, Carrie, Letty, and Alberto, Trey B, Rhea, Jolie, Natalie, and Melissa with one style. It's each. Props to Bakery Mafia for delivering uh, on level 14. Now, level 15. No, we, we skipped one level. Oh boy. Next level is level 15. <clears throat> this was really a close call. Are we going to make it? Let's try. Load. We ain't ready, says Katie. We ain't ready. Christmas miracle legendary legend. Load. We ain't ready. Take us back to level five, says Katie. Oy vey. I can only focus one thing at a time. <laughs> I need someone to review the ballet. I just realized I had top chat on not live missing half the conversation. <laughs> oh no, Nancy. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Do I still have my earring? Did I lose it? No, okay, it's there. Okay, let's play the next level. Jackie's like, the replay chats is going to be crazy. <laughs> I know, right, Jackie? All right, let's do this. Okay, get ready. Bubbles ain't playing. Happy, jumping, jumping jack, flash, the little stick man jumping, cookie jar, lips, mouth, deer. Is that a deer? 
antelope, cow, ant, beetle. Somebody type in beetle. Eyeball. Yeah, beetle. There you go. Sheep. Guitar. Get oh god, we need 14 hits, you guys. We only got three hits. And well half the time is almost up. Co polishing the car hair dryer. Well done. Car cleaning, car crash, guitar, instrument, musical instrument, tear, eye, landing, airplane, airport, landing in an ah, eyelashes. Water balloons, broken bone, breakage, broken, bone breakage, broken bone, Polaroid picture, Polaroid, get fracture, damn it, <laughs> I'm so bad at this, teacher, oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, oh my god, we only, got, uh, Ninja Turtle, we only got seven hits, we need 14 hits, you guys, and there's no time left almost, land, we got eight hits. Ukulele, is it a ukulele? Bombs, oh, an airplane throwing bombs, bombing, bomb. Rob, really, Rob? Photograph, 11 of 14, oh my God, we need three more hits. TV, television, drawer, set, three more hits. Cow, goat, goat, point a finger. Instrument, walking, jogging, running. We didn't do it, Joe. Uh, but we made it to level 15. What a rush, says Fjord. <laughs> Inhaler, heaven is still guessing. Cha. Carol is like, I, I, Louis is like, so that's that. We want a rematch, says Polly. Danica is like, again, fun. We were trying so hard. Cha, my heart. <laughs> that was the warm up, says Natalie. Cecilia is like, oh no. Hi, Yori. How's it going, my love? Well, Linda, the game is over, but we can play another round if you want. Oh my God, my autocorrect converts word to Italian. That was the problem. Oh no, Miki, reset your autocorrect. Edu is like, Miki, same here. Oh no, Edu, what do you mean yours was converting it into, oh, Brazilian, Portuguese? Pau is like, I need a drink now. Okay, everybody's like, yes, duh, another round. All right, let's begin. So Nectarine Man won with nine stars total ranking and Polly S1 level 15. <clears throat> Pow. Yeah, I don't know. It was not a ukulele or a bass, right? Yori's like, hello, darling. Happy December 25th. However you spent. Thank you, Yori. You too, my love. Edu is like, it's a mess. Can we stretch first, says Linder? One more round, says Corey K. Harbaker says, my answers were shadow banned. <laughs> Going to the laptop so I can type faster. Oh, we're getting all the guns out. Oh, people be pulling out keyboards. People be pulling out full-blown computers. Typing away. Oh, honey, we, we ain't come here to play. Bubbles is not going to win. We're going to defeat Bubbles. Carrie's like, I'm already on my desktop. We're going full force here. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna be a spectator, says Catherine. Man against machine. Let me pull out my facts. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Bubbles is going down, Amy. Merry Christmas all the way from Dubai and wish a happy new year. Merry Christmas, new fan. And happy new year to you too, my love. I'm half asleep, so it's a miracle I'm still typing, says Cecilia. Okay, hive mind. <laughs> Hive mind, let's go. Jolie Simple Opinion says, it keeps telling me that I'm typing too much. Ah, because you're going too fast. Uh, I don't know if I can take that off. If I can like take the... You know what I mean? If I can take the... Uh... I'll try to see if I can 
take that off. Yeah, pull out the dick, the dick shenary. If I can take off the limitation, the time restriction. I'm not so sure I can do that now that the live stream begat. Uh, slow mode was on, was off. It's off now. Slow mode is off now, you guys. Okay, let's play. Let's play. Are you ready? Everybody, you got your keyboards? Thumb up the live stream. My anemia brain fog is getting me with this game, says Bob. We ready, says Gloria. <laughs> Carrie's like, motherfuckers, let's go! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, let's go, let's go. We was bone ready. We was bone ready. <clears throat> we need to get at least seven hits. Wrinkles. I want to say, wait, lobotomy? Oh, ho. What? The first thing was a ho? That's, that's bubbles for you. <laughs> well, we, of course, if we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna guess is Ho. Trophy. <clears throat> oh my God, is that the little guy from Saw? The, from the horror movie Saw? Oh, blind. Number four is blind. Oh, Kane. So, nurse. Doctor. Stethoscope. 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 Marionette. We need one more. Door. Panel. Entry door. Entrance. Doctor. Pupil. Bottle. Wine. Water. Guzzle. Oh, a notepad. Now what's this thing called? Clipboard! 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 Yeah, we did it. Clipboard. Yeah. Bottle. Uh, drink. <clears throat> Sleeping in bed. Exchange. What are these two little kids in the middle? S squat? Really? Girl. A oh, going to work. Businessman. Businesswoman. A, a business uh, bag. A, a, a business suitcase. A, a briefcase. Briefcase. Oh, it's over? Uh-oh, we did too good. Now we're skipping three levels. Carrie Fernandez and Katie, both with two points at the top of the list. Then we got Bakery Mafia, Danitza, Ira, Gloria, Nectarine Man, Jesus, Letty, and Jolie with one stolid each. Thumb up the live stream quickly. Thumb it up. Let's get to uh, 300 likes. Thumb up the live stream as we jump into level four. So quickly thumb up and then get back to the keyboard. How in the hell did I get two? Katie, congratulations, you got two. <laughs> Katie and Carrie. Yas, Quins, Quins. All right, Melly. Have a wonderful day, Melissa. I can't take any more Godspeed. See you in the next one, sweetie. Heaven is like, okay, I suck at this. I question some of these, says Linda. I'm definitely the one in slow mode, says Dave B. Okay, I'm on my MacBook now. Let's go, says Jordan. Done. All right, let's do this. Level four. Hospital? Hole? Record player? Vinyl? Dog, chicken, dance, ballet, ballerina, swimming, jumping. What is that? Toe, foot, stinky foot. Oh, 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 the third one is like a trap. Oh, swimming. The third one is like a trap, like a bear trap. You know, one of those traps that like, what, what are those called? Vinyl player, uh, 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 record player. Oh, that was a horse? Pharmacist. What is the ninth picture? That looks very creepy. Pedicure girl. 
Oh, shower. Taking a shower. Shower. Bear trap. Is it a bear trap? Paint. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross. <laughs> Painter. Oh, that was a stylist? Girl, bah. That was a caller. Sock. Seven out of nine. We're gonna lose, you guys. We need two more. It was a sock. Jordan got guessed the sock. Trap. What is the second drawing? What is that thing? Like half a face is cut off? What is that thing? Phantom of the Opera? <laughs> Harry Potter? Record play, vinyl, a disc. Uh, exterminator, exterminator, bug exterminator. Exterminator, scrambled eggs. Painter, artist. Carrie, Katie, Nectarine Man, Letty, and Jolie, all ranking with two stars at the top. And then we got Bakery Mafia, Danitza, Ira, Gloria, Jesus, and Apricus with one stallet. And level four ranking, we got Letty, Jolie, Apricus, Maggie, Nectarine Man, Rhea, Heartbreak, Jordan, Ivy, and Roses Raw. Uh, all with one stallet each. Melanie Rice, how's it going, sweetie? Wow. <laughs> Melanie's like, Wow, I need a drink after this. Heaven is like, I got nada. Carrie's like, yo, what was that? <laughs> Carrie, good question, Carrie. Pharmacist? Carrie, that was not a pharmacist. For me, that was like a receptionist at the hospital. One more and it's bedtime for me, guys, says Polly. How was that a disc? Danitza, that was like a, a vinyl for me. But I understand, yeah. It was a record player, right? I'm getting binets and a drink after this, says Ivy. I put triage for... Oh my god, Heaven, you did not put... <laughs> ah! Heaven, you're too sophisticated for this game. That was a record player, I agree. I swear one of them was Harry Potter, right, Jordan? I put record player and nothing happened because it was disc. This game is wrong. I'm right, says Evan. Louis says, those drawings will be my next semester's drawings in my art school. <laughs> Letty's like, already opened a beer. We'll go, we'll go. All right, guys. Let's let's see the next level. We're going to level five. <clears throat> a cup of tea, a cuppa, coffee, tea, me, olive. Oh, tennis. Coffee. There you go. Natalie Dietz guessed it. Playing tennis, tennis mat, tennis ball. Uh... Oh, smoking a cigarette? Is that a cigarette? Okay, number three is an animal. Is that a giraffe? I want to say giraffe. Number three is giraffe. I think it's a giraffe, y'all. Nobody's... It was a giraffe. There you go. Uh, we need five more. Branch. Tree branch or just branch? Just a branch. There you go, Danitza. And then we got... What is that thing with the green? Is that money? Oh, mayor. Bakery mafia. How did you get that? Centipede. Oh, seal. Projector. Car. Uh, bus. Car. Van. Automobile, uh, automobile. Driver? Is that a hearse? What is that thing? Why is it a black car? There's a baby in the car. What is this? Necklace, number three is necklace. Oh, beef, loin. Serrano, ha ham, swimmer, swimming, drowning, cactus, cacti, rosary, rosary, swim, rosary, rosary. Oh, it's uh, it's done. 
pork leg. <laughs> Bakery Mafia is number one with four stars, followed by Carrie and Danitza. And then we got the two Stalets. Katie, Nectarine, Manletti, Jolie, Rhea, Jordan, uh, Polly, and then Ira with one Stalet. Level 5 ranking, Bakery Mafia with three stars, followed by Danitza and Polly S with two. And then we got Natalie, Carrie, Rhea, Jax, Bag Attack, Yori, Jordan, and MJM with one Stalet. Yes, you did, Yori. You got one, sweetie. Well done. Heaven, pork leg. <laughs> that was ham bone. <laughs> Legendary Legends is like, oh, I need a break. I'll be back, y'all. All right, Ivy. Carrie's like, y'all, I'm forgetting how to spell. <laughs> Legendary Legends is like getting specific with the cuts. <laughs> Uh, my dyslexia is not helping, says Rose. Uh, yes, it is, Louis. Louis says, I said Chanel necklace. This game is Paul. <laughs> this game is so Paul. But I think it was a rosary. Why didn't anybody say rosary? I'm still shook at the squatting one, says Jesus. <laughs> okay, but like... I'm sure that I got two and nothing happened and the, someone else wrote the same and got the point. Hmm, Mickey, I don't know. Oh, Letty, you said rosary three times. Well, then it wasn't rosary. Then it was something else. I don't know what it was. We'll go, we'll go. Uh, that pedicure one was creepy. The pedicure was super creepy. And what was the black car? Did, did anybody guess the black car with the people inside? It looked like a hearse. Oh, Jolie, it was Catholic. Oh, First Communion. Was it hers? Danita's like, no, it was kidnapping. <laughs> Heaven is like, pedicure was foot fetish for me. Oh, it was a limousine? Police car? Um... Yeah, right? Gloria Bubbles, Zubena, Zubena, Drumbena. If that, if that was a limousine, honey, girl. All right, let's, let's, let's go to level eight. Cha, may the odds be ever in our favor. We need 11 hits to pass the next level. Is that a helmet? Astronaut? Helmet. Okay, Polly got that one. Eyeball, eye, <clears throat> mother, woman. No, it's not a woman. Oh, stilts, stilts, protractor, Ophelia. How did that? How did you guess that one? Stilts, floating, floating, scooter. What is number five? Is that cheese? Oh, it's a brick. I thought it was cheese. Bubbles. Zubana. Zubana. Wrinkle! I... Crow's feet! No, wait. Not crow's feet. Wrinkles. Oh, dark circles? UFO. OVNI. In Chanel terms. OVNI. And it's even the yellow of OVNI. I would say OVNI, but it's a UFO, right? Flying saucer. You gotta be kidding me! Abduct? Why do they do that? Okay, dog. We need one more hit, and time is running up. We need one more hit, y'all. We need to guess one more. Oh, fencing. Okay, we did it. Ketchup. Ketchup. Squirt. Squirting. Squirting. Gold. Yes. Oh, it's a panther? Honey. Wow, that cow is number one. A cow? What is that thing with the ketchup bottle? Sauce. Oh, bleach. Bleach. You guys, it's bleach. I think it was bleach. Bakery Mafia got five together with Carrie. Jordan is following them with four. And then we got the Nitsa, the Nectarine Man, Letty, Jolie, Rhea, and Polly 
with three, and then we got Katie and Gloria with two Stalets, and then uh, the level eight ranking, we got Jordan uh, winning with Carrie with two Stalets, and then one Stalet, Polly, Ophelia, Bakery Mafia, Letty, Mickey, Gloria, MJM, Jolie, and Nectarine Man. Like Gloria, I like who guessed abduct? Oh, Maggie, was it Tabasco? A nut in a butt, says Jesus. <laughs> Y'all, my blood pressure right now is scary. I guess. Apricus, you guessed the abduct? Like, how was that abduct? I mean, I, I get it, but like, wow. No, Polly, you can't give your points to someone. Oh. <laughs> Bubbles needs to tell us. Ah, I get it. Take this opportunity to thumb up the live stream as we head on over to level 10. Let's try to get to 300 likes before the live stream ends. Liam Neeson is shaking, honey. There are other games, Jesus, yes. But Gloria is always so nice. Vocal fry. Okay, Polly has, but Gloria is always so nice. <laughs> Let's play the next level. And then when we're done with the game, we can play another game too. That in the bottle was the water from the hotel with the Prince Edu, you best believe. Camilla and Chally. Okay, so we got to guess 12. We need 12 hits. It's a boat. I want to say it's a boat. Again, helmet. Hel sausage. A ladle. Swimming in a boat? Outcast? Is this a is this an olive? Oh, stingray, stingray, <laughs> or ray? Oh, it's a speedboat. Conductor, yeah, stingray. There you go. Leaf. What is that fruit? It's one of those special fruits that has little. Oh, is it a chestnut? A jackfruit, girl. Girl, metal, cup, cup, tea, mug, mug, teacup, mug. What is that leaf and an eye? Eye leaf? Helmet. Driver or helmet? Boy Scout. Oh boy, 9 of 12. We still need three more. Time is uh, two more to go. Cappuccino. Girl. Is that a leaf fish? Leaf fish? Earphones. What is this thing? Is this a motor? What is this? Helmet? Visor! It's a visor! <sighs> Taj Mahal. Oh, we did it. Okay, good. Bakery Mafia and Carrie, five stars. Ranking at the top, and then we got Jordan, Letty, Jolie, Rhea with four, and then we got Danitza, Nectarine, Polly, Gloria, MJM with three, and the winner of level 10 is Ophelia with two Stalets, followed by MJM, Linda, Rose, Fjord, Rhea, Gloria, Jolie, Yori, Cookie, Munstel, and Letty with one Stalet each. Thumb up the live stream. And uh, we're moving on to level 11. Now, may I remind you, we lost the game last time at level 15. Can we outdo ourselves this time around? Animation by Aish, says Jesus, the shade. Don't remind us, says Linda. Feeling alive, says Yori. Feeling alive. Uh, and Tiki was a tea hut. Oh, cha. Maybe visor instead of visor, or with a Z? Love you all. Love you, Polly. Heartbreak Hotel says we got this. We're getting better. All right, then. I mean, my anxiety, says Smurfette. I'm hydrating. <sighs> no. 
Dave is like, I need a strong Koopa. All right, guys. <clears throat> DreamWorks is shaking <laughs> with, with, with these animations. I'm filling up my glass. My Koopa. I want a snack lid too, Amy. What you got? What you snacking on? I want something to nibble on. Should I get some chips? Do I have, do I have, I have some bags of stuff here. Maybe my chiplets. Yeah, maybe I should do some chiplets. Something salty. I'm, I'm feeling savory at the moment. Look, I got a chip on a soda. Chip on a soda, and I'm gonna eat it. Bye, Polly. Snack emergency. Linda, I have the caramel cold brew M&Ms as well. But I'm, I'm gonna eat those later. Ivy is back. All right, guys. Are you ready for level 11? Thumb up the live stream. And three, two, one. Caro, I'm munching on regular sea salted chips. Balding? <clears throat> oh, late. <laughs> Clown. We need 12 guesses to pass to the next level. Otherwise, we're going to lose. Wait, is that a penis on that person? Two penises? What is that thing? Is that a leg? Cha. Campfire. Oh, bonfire. Mm, joke, prank. Prank, joke, making fun of, hide and go seek. Why is that not a clown? If that's not a clown, what is it? That was a microphone? Oh, Joker. Flower. Hide and go seek. Making fun of laughing at. Bullying. Bully. Uh-oh, we're gonna lose, you guys. We only have nine. We need 12 hits to win. We need three more. Yo-yo. Is that a yo-yo? Test. Document. Paper. Contract. Boat. Loading a board. Cargo. Cargo on a boat. Leaf. Oh my god, we're gonna lose worse than last time. Acorn. Nut. We're done. <laughs> Can you believe we did worse than last time? The poverty. Carrie wins with seven stars, followed by Bakery Mafia with six. And then Jordan, Letty, Jolie, Raya with four. And then we got Danitza, Nectarine Man, Polly S, Gloria, MJM with three. And the level 11 ranking, Linda and Carrie win with two stars each. And then Bakery Mafia, Mahonis, Maggie, Melissa, and Cat V with one each. <laughs> Heaven. Drawings keep getting worse. And the words, like, I don't know if one or two words of those. Hey, Tommaso. Legendary says, shattered and scattered. Okay. Mickey's like, we are tired now. Totally. So, we can do the second game if you want, which is a word... We played this before. Some of you have been in the Fashion Bunker longer. You know we played this other game. Um, where it's like combining words out of letters. Um... Catherine of Sina says, congratulations, all you clever clogs.
Let's try the new game. Um, I have to quickly set it up. Okay. It's going to take a while to set up, but uh, we can chat a little. Don't forget to thumb up the live stream. And um, uh, nothing better than chips on um, Christmas. <laughs> the sophistication. Some people like caviar on Christmas. I'm like, no, nah, I just want a chip. Hmm. 231 likes. Let's get to 300 likes. Oh, and I also love crackers. Hi, Didi Bean. Hello again. I just woke up to this madness. Good morning. Cecilia says, cool. We need to chill. My brain is steaming. Yeah, now we chill a little. Zeitgeist says, Jacob, do you like Prada Paradox? No. <laughs> Uh-oh. Raya is like, I'm staying strong not to go and get chips from the kitchen. American Princess, the chips are good, yeah. Mmm, popcorn for Pao. Mmm. Oh, wow. Pumpkin pie and wine for Legendary. Delish. Mmm. Oh, there's a lot of wind there, Jesus. We are competitive, Linda. Yeah, well, we still lost. <laughs> it's cold in Texas right now, says American Princess. Mm. Oh, love leftover pizza, too. And I'm thinking about it. But it's 2 in the morning. Uh-oh. I already had way too many cookies. Mm, Smurfette. Popcorn is always good. Amy says, Jacob, try Firehook Crackers, the best. I'm refinishing an antique desk today and painting walls. Ha! FML, but I love it. The game got me stress eating, says Smurfette. Me too. I'm already done with one bag of chips, says Letty. Mediterranean olive oil and sea salt, yum. Yeah. Salt and vinegar is your favorite? Mmm. I want a hot dog now, too. A hot dog? I want a corn dog, actually. I want a corn dog with the old school mustard. And I want to dip it in mustard and a little bit of ketchup. And a bit of relish on the side. That would be my junk food of choice right now. With a beer. Oh, and pickles. Oh. Yori. I've been craving hot dogs and still don't have any pickles, darn it. Oh. Yeah, I would like a pickle now. Mmm. Just as I'm having spaghetti with tomato, zucchini, and chicken breast sauce. Oh, you're living the healthy life, honey. Deep fried and battered pickles on another level. On another level. I love pickles. Love pickles. And like... All kind of pickles. Big ones, little ones, the cornichons, the spicy ones. Mm. Fried pickles. Yes, Mickey, you can deep fry pickles. Oh, 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 they're so good. Yeah, comfort food on a night like this. Cornichons with eggs. Oh, sunny side up for me. For me, sunny side up, mm, nice and warm, 
with a bit of oil and salt and a bit of pepper. And then you pop open the yellow part, the yolk, right? And it's still liquidy inside and it kind of just like melts over the white part of the egg. Then you dab the bread in, and it's warm bread as well. And you eat the yellow, oh. Oh, that's my kind of Christmas. Mmm. Mmm. Edu, right? Extra salted, me too. Extra salt. Oily and nice. And you know what else I love with them? Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, sunny side up eggs. Dab it into the bread. And that mix of the cherry tomato with the egg, coincidentally, Similar flavor combination happens to me, olfactively speaking, if I eat cherry tomatoes with chips. Have you ever tried? Regular sea salted chip, potato chip. You take the chip and then you take a cherry tomato and you eat them together. It tastes like a sunny side up egg with bread and tomato. There's a similar flavor to it. Love it. Oh my God. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Mm -mm. Love for eggs. I adore eggs. Oh. Mm -mm. oh, Gloria's like, okay, I'm reheating Chinese. It's done. We're going to eat. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a good fresh egg, Amy. Okay. And I'm going to eat the pizza. You made me do it, says Mickey. Yori's like, watch me say olive juice. Okay, can we talk about olive juice just for a second? Because that is my favorite, like, long drink. In some bars, they're going to call it a cocktail uh, because they want to charge more for it. But technically, it's like a long drink, so it's a little bit cheaper than a cocktail. But dirty martini. Dirty martini. I do mine with vodka. Vodka Dirty Martini, vermouth, extra filthy, extra filthy with a lot of olive juice. Mix that up. My kingdom for a Dirty Martini. Right before dinner, like a little aperitivo. You could also do it, you know, with gin, but I prefer my Dirty Martini with vodka. I do. Yori, when I order it, I say extra filthy. And if the waiter then responds with like a smile, then I say, make it ratchet. And then they know. And then the dirty martini comes like goo. You know, it's like muddy. Oh, that is my favorite dirty martini. Yes, my king, right, Yori? Jacob, next time you get a chance, try putting pico de gallo on top of the hot dog and then add ketchup on top. That mix of flavors is divine. Trust me. Mm. Jose Segura, I've tried the egg with tortillas and it's good. Heaven, put potato chips on the ice cream. Oh my God, Corey K, we're going there. Just like, just like you know, you order French fries at McDonald's and then you also order the milkshake and you eat the fries with the milkshake. Oh, well, good for you, Zeitgeist. Do not drink alcohol. It's not good for you anyway. So good. Live healthy. Live healthy. I'm not that healthy. <laughs> huh. I like to dip the fries in the milkshake. There you go, heaven. Oh, let this sounds good. Ruffles, salted, original. Yas, Jacob, have you tried chilaquiles? Um, not so sure I know what they are. If I, I would have to, maybe. Me out here drinking soda for an uh, operative? No, aperitivo, baby, not opera. <laughs> That's the combo. Milkshake and fries is Jose. Mm. Squish mallows start tomorrow in Happy Meals, FYI. Ooh, is it tomorrow? Today's naughty day. Ruffles with ruffles for me, purist. Ah, oh. it's you know, it's just I, I love my carbs, you know, and preferably when I do my carbs. Yeah, 
in in French fry form, potato chip form. I like potatoes. I like potatoes in any way, shape, or form. I like mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, wedges, oven baked potatoes, deep fried potatoes. I mean, you know, potatoes. Fries and milkshake is num num deluge, right, Dave? <laughs> Oh, gingerbread for dessert. Okay, Jesus, you see how Jesus is being very, very Christmassy. Gingerbread for dessert. Jesus is showing us the way. <laughs> Follow the D cup. Follow the D cup. Potatoes and bread, Amy. Well, but also, you know, you eat pasta. Pure carbs. I all adore pasta. And then you take the bread after you've eaten the pasta and you wipe with the bread whatever is left over at the bottom of the pan or of the pot, depending on how you mixed it with the sauce. Yes, after you've eaten the carby pasta in Italy, you take the bread, you wipe all the sauce, and that's the best part. The best part. No, Jesus, it's actually very Italian <laughs> to take the bread and eat the, to wipe the pan, the pot clean with the bread. That's the best part. Oh, handmade tagliatelle, Miki, with truffle. Now that is amazing. La scarpetta, si. Oh, man. Cookie Monster says, I always serve bread with pasta for that reason. Today I made tagliatelle, read that one, sorry. Missed the pizza in New York City, delish. Why do Italians eat pasta like every day and stay thin? Because Italians move a lot and they also don't do a lot of other things. Like, they don't overeat. Italians are very precise in dosing the pasta. In the rest of the world, you just make a, a huge amount, you know, of everything. And then you... In Italy, it's like, I don't know how many gram is usually, like, in Italy, pasta. Um, Ninety gram. It's little. Hi, Grace Chen. How's it going, sweetie? It's like a little tiny portion, and technically you're still hungry after it, but yeah. Gnocchi is usually potato-based, but you also add flour to them, you know, and then you could also make gnocchi out of uh, pumpkin. And they are quite orange, but they have to be in season, so it's usually, you know, around, around like harvest season, October. Letty says, Italians and French people eat for pleasure, and they are very particular about portions. Yes, very much. Primo, secondo, contorno, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. But everything is like smaller in the portions, you know. And then the coffee. You need that coffee always after the meal. You need an espresso, which helps you digest, you know, quicker. And you're on your feet quick and you go. So anyway, uh, are we ready with the game? Let me see. How far are we? Thumb of the live stream. And... Meet and greet in Italy for a foodie tour. Seasonal veggies, very much. Yeah. Yeah. Let's play the word game next. Welcome to the holiday season bash in the fashion bunker. Let's see what the next game has to offer. It's a little bit less frantic. For those of you who have been in the fashion bunker for a while now, you have already played this game. This one is a little bit less frantic. 
But as Hercule Poirot would say, you still got to use your little gray cells. So how to play? Find the words from mixed letters. It's like Scrabble, basically. It's like Scrabble. Find the words from mixed letters to pass from level to level. There's a certain amount of words we have to guess in a given amount of time. If we don't, we fail. If we do, we pass on to the next level. <clears throat> Meet and greet in Italy for foodie tour espresso. Always, says Amy. I'm jealous of Italians inside, guys. Oh, we're all a little jealous of our Italian friends, says Yori. Jose says, love your Camellia Dacov. Thank you, Jose. Thank you so much. Massa encephalica activada. Yes, exactly, darling. The brain matter activated. Miki's like, okay, I'm doomed. So it's going to be like Scrabble. We're going to have like several letters mixed up and then you're going to have to, you know, recombine them in, in the chats. You're going to have to type out the word that actually uh, can come out of the mix of the letters, right? Are you ready? So, use the chat to solve. Found a word, guess again when the padlock opens. Find words from mixed letters. You see, face was C-F-A-E. Use the chat to solve anagrams. Found a word, guess again when the padlock opens. Find words from mixed letters. Seems quite simple, right? So this was just an example, just teaching us like how to do it. Natasha's like, my brain don't work this way. Jesus says, wait, let me spray some more tender poison on, right? And it was like, Jesus, well, all right, let me spray some Gautier. Gautier by the power of two, honey. Ah, oh, honey. Oh, my gosh. This is turning into the Christmas, the holiday perfume, really. It's like, woo, child. Okay, are you ready for level one? Hit it, Bubbles. Somebody guessed rice. I'm so bad at I don't see any word here. Beige. I see beige. How oh, Chanel of me. How Chanel of me. There's beige. Wait, there's no beige? Oh, there is beige. Raya guessed it. Uh, uh, Greece, no. Ice, did we do ice? Oh no, there's no three letters. No, there is no Greece because there's, we need a third E. Melissa, okay. Beer uh, patty. I don't understand when this thing unlocks, what happens then? Oh, another a letter appears. That's going to be in the next levels, I think. We almost guessed all of them, you guys. So the goal was 44. We managed to do 74 of 44, which is huge. Um, oh, people who guess are blocked. 
I see. So if you guess so if you guess one word, you are blocked and can't guess until the lock unlocks again. That's how the lock works. Melissa, 19 uh, stars. Rhea, 14. Patty J, 13. Brittany Heavenly has 8. Danitza, 8. Steph, 7. Ophelia and Jesus, 6. Yeah, Heaven, yes, you just type in the chats, yeah. Let's go. So we're jumping to the next... We skipped three levels. Okay, we're going straight to level four. Uh, Alex. Lin listen, Linda. <laughs> listen, Linda. Uh, you guess sexual immediately. The biggest word. Cha only in the fashion bunker. Only in the fashion bunker. Oh, we reached the goal already. Oh, okay. We're really good at this. Sale. Bakery Mafia guest sale. We got our fashion people. We got the Lux. Sale. Sexuel. <laughs> what are all of these words? Axles, Axel, Axes, Axel, Al Alleys. What are these words? Lees. Oh my god, we're so good at this, you guys. The goal was 58. We're already at 113. There's one more word missing. What's the word that's missing? Seal. Oh, we did seal already. It, so it's a four letter word that's still missing right here. Lace or lays. Well, what do you know? We did everything. This is insane. You are so good at this. But now we, we're up to level seven immediate. We're gonna jump across levels. Danitza is the winner with 31 stars, both on total ranking, and then the winner on level four ranking with 23 stars. Patty J 21 stars melissa 19 ophelia 17 steph sunset 15 Rhea 14 linda 13. Cha, look at us go it's a sign says the need so this is your forte ha edu is like sixth uh the rental car gloria's like wow what the hell is that right we did everything that's not a word, says heaven. I'm going down, says Melissa. All right, well, let's see uh, how... Okay, we're going... We're, we're now at level seven. Let's do level seven. Let's see if we're still this good and fresh. Because I, I remember we... In the past, we managed also to get, like, to level 15 or 19. Not higher. So the goal is 36. Attention, this time, Bubbles is warning us. Attention, one letter is fake. So now we know that T-O-O -O is not fake. So what can be fake is S or P or I. No, P and I. Okay, S is fake. You guys, the letter S, forget about it. Do not, do not use the S to spell the words. Do not use the S to spell the words. Do not use the S to spell... Why is everybody using the S? Do, <laughs> Do not use the S! <laughs> Everybody's using the S. There you go. You see the S is now orange because it's a fake letter. It... What about Tony? Tony with an I. What about Poot? P O O T. 
Oh, on to. Oh my god, yes. We're missing only one. We're so good. We did it, Joe. You guys, I mean, you're incredibly talented in this in this uh, version of the game with the letters. Danitza still at the top of the world with 31 stars, followed by Patty J and Fjord with 28 stars. And then we got Ophelia with 25, Melissa with 19, Steph with 15, Sunset 15, Rhea 14. And the level 7 ranking, Fjord wins level 7 with 16 stars, followed by the Nectarine Man. 12, Ophelia 8, Shikma, Patty, and Letty with 7, Cookie Monster 6, and Ira with 4. Not me getting an ad of the real real in the middle of the game. Oh, Louie! Classic. <laughs> Yori's like, oh, MG, I'm such a loser. <laughs> no, you're not. Not at all. Oh, to Topi is tapioca? My word stock is definitely going to improve after this game. You best believe. Are you ready for level 10? Because Bubbles is like, oh, you're too good for this. I'm going to make it harder. So get ready, guys. It's getting harder at level 10. So we're probably going to have one or two fake letters. And when the levels get harder, uh, one letter will be invisible. So we're going to have to guess what letter it is. But let's see what happens in level 10. Okay, so there is a fake letter. So true, untrue, turn, runt. Okay, so Q. Rent, okay, Q. Q is fake. Don't use the letter Q. Yeah, Q is fake. Don't use the, the letter Q. Don't use the letter Q. Rerun. Ah, very good. So there's another long one, just like Nurture. With seven letters. There's one more seven letter word. Rune. Wow, Nectarine Man, untruer. It's like, it's not only untrue, it's untruer. <laughs> We're only missing one word, y'all. A four letter word is missing. We did it, Joe! This is amazing! You guys are incredible! I We have never played this game this well, where literally all the words have been guessed. Like, this is amazing. Maybe we can do, like, uh, state finals or something. Danitza is at the top of the world with 43 stars. Fjord follows with 34 and Patty with 33 together with Ophelia. Nectarine Man 28, Melissa 25, Sunset 19, Steph 15. And uh, level 10 ranking, Nectarine Man, 16 stars, Danitza 12. And then all the others with the single digits. Wow, this is harder than the first one. Cat, but at the same time, like, we're really good at this. People are guessing the words like this. <laughs> Zeitgeist is like, my fingers are just way too slow. Heaven is like, I feel like my keyboard isn't on. Well, are you ready for level 13? Danitza is like, we got this. <coughs> Turn was a good one, says Fjord. All right, guys. Thumb up the live stream. Is this thing on? Heaven, yes. Melissa, Teresa, hey. Uh, thumb up the live stream. Let's try to get to 300 likes. Jesus is like, flatulence got the best of me. Well, we'll go, we'll go. To my UK peeps who watches Countdown, <laughs> Nectarine Man TV show. All right, are you ready for level 13? Thumb up the live stream. Oh, Grace Chen, thank you so much, sweetie. 
Grace Chen donated $2.04. A little gift for you during this festive season. Tiny tip, tiny tip <laughs> in the <laughs> Munskin, 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 Jacob. Munskin, Jacob in the corner. Munskin, Jacob in the corner. Munskin, Jacob in the corner. Corner, 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 corner. Little song. Pop a cher miniature cherry. Pop a miniature cherry. Bubbles. We'll go, we'll go. There you go. Oh, it doesn't work? Okay, it has to go like that. Pop a miniature cherry bubbles. Ah, <sighs> the magic works in certain instances only. There you go. Thank you so much, sweetie. Let's go back to the game. Okay, thumb up the live stream and level 13. Let's see if we can conquer. Like I said, don't forget, now they might also add an invisible letter. So it's going to get harder if they add the invisible letter. Let's go. Beware of a fake letter and the hidden letter. So I guess knife. No, there's no E. King. Oink. So I guess F. F or C are fake. So F, F is the fake one. Don't use F. Don't use F. And then there's a letter missing. So the letter that's hidden could be any letter. Cocking. Oh, coking. <laughs> what does coking mean? Cocking? Melissa guessed cooking. Aha, so the hidden letter is an O. So there are two O's, you guys. The hidden letter is an O. The fake letter is the F. There you go. The hidden letter is the O. Fake letter is the F. Do not use the F, you guys. Letty, no fog. There's no... <laughs> Letty! There's no three letters here. <laughs> Letty is like, cha. Let me... <laughs> Ophelia, there's no F. F is a fake... We did it, Joe! We guessed again all 13 words. You guys are incredible. The Nectarine Man just surpassed Danitza and is now in pole position with 58 stars. But the level 13 ranking sees also the Nectarine Man in pole position with 30 stars. Letty's like worth a shot. Letty, there were no three letter words. And the F was fake. <laughs> oh man. So anyway, let's do level 16, you guys. I mean, we might just break our record because I've never seen us play like this well where like every word is guessed. This is insane. Insane. There's one fake letter and one hidden letter. Decade. So maybe the G is fake? Dead. No, dead is not a letter. Seeded and deeds. Wait, why is dead not a letter? Oh, there's... Oh, because dead is four and we need five letters. Oh, it's getting harder. It's getting very hard, you guys. We're only at 26 of 55. We're not even halfway with the winning. And we haven't guessed the secret letter yet. Oh, 
Decades. Okay, the hidden letter is S. Start finding S. Ophelia, well done. S is the hidden letter. Oh boy, we're so gonna lose, huh? Ceased, the Nectarine Man. Well played. Case. One more to meet the goal. We're 50. Oh, we did it, Joe. Well, good. Well done. Two, le two words missing. Five letters each. We did it. We didn't guess all of them, but we did it. So I guess we're going to jump, what, two? We're going to skip two levels. <gasps> wow, Nectarine Man, 67 stars. Danitza is rushing right behind with 64. And Danitza wins level 16 with 15 stars. Uh, Jesus, Deed has four letters. The smallest letter was five letter. The, the smallest word was five letters. So you guys, went, you got to also check out which size of words is accepted. There were no words accepted with four letters. Monarch is like, oh my god, I see my name! Wait, where is it? Uh, I disappeared. There it is. Monarch is number six on level 16. I was out of the room for most of those, but this is hilarious. Must see heaven, Patty said. Science queen. All right, let's do level 18. It's getting harder. One fake letter, one hidden letter. And the smallest word is five letters. Not four, five letters is the smallest word. The goal is 97, and we are at zero now. We need 97 to reach our goal, otherwise we lose the game. Steph and Cookie have just guessed two, so... The hidden... Oh, uh, no, it's not. So what's... Oh, wait, what's the fake letter then? H? H is the fake letter. H is the fake letter. Yeah, don't use H. use a m okay guys we're about to end we're at 29 of 97 we're gonna so lose i'm telling you we never made it to level 20 damn complete steph that's good but we lost Yeah, we never made it to level 20. <laughs> Nectarine Man and Steph are both winners uh, with 67 stars each, followed closely with 64 stars by Denitza, and then we got level 18 winner Steph with 21 stars, followed by Cookie Monster 14 and Cat V with 7. We did really good though, because uh, 18 levels is a lot. I've never seen us go over 20, so I don't know what happens after level 20. Like, how much harder does it get? But hats off, everyone. 
Hats off, everyone. Danitza's like, this was fun. Yeah, 67 stars. I still don't know if like 67 stars is because you collected 67 letters that comprised all the words that you formed or if 67 stars is connected to some other point giving system. I want to say I think it has to do with the amount of letters you've utilized. Like for every letter that you manage to use, you get an extra star, I think, but maybe I'm wrong. This is the most I thought in like months is heaven. Sunset Moonlight says, yes, I love the Fashion Bunker games. <laughs> Steph is like, I need a cigarette and I don't smoke. Nectarine Man says, oh man, oh man, congrats. Nectarine Man is like, I'm exhausted after all of it. <laughs> congrats are in order. Fjord Prefect has proclaimed that congrats are in order or as... Uh, Kristen Stewart would say in her Diana Spencer acting without ever opening her teeth uh, I think uh, she would say congrats are in order now can I have my Oscar please thank you want to play one more round of the word game. Danitza is like, so last night I was watching Lingo. Totally helped. Okay, everybody wants to play another round. All right, guys. We'll go, we'll go. Be the first one to find an anagram. This is level one. Wow, you guys are fast. There are no fake letters yet. Level one is the easiest. There's no hidden letters, no fake letters. Emanate. Manatee! And emanate. Steph and Anitza. Wow! Tame! Tame! I see Tammy. Tame! Tame! Mantena! Did anybody write tame? Oh yeah, you did. Okay, only one word is missing, you guys. With five letters. Oh, we did it! Enema! Really? Enema? Enema? Enema. Was the... <laughs> only in the fashion bunker. Enema. Enema was the last word, baby. And it wasn't like... It wasn't a dialect word for enemy, like you're my enema. No, it's enema. It's enema. Danitza is in pole position with 21 stars. Steph with 16 follows up. Third position, Jolie, simple opinion with 15 stallets. Natalie and Melissa both with 12 stars. Linda S and Nectarine Man with seven. Grant Ramirez with six, and I don't see who's after that. I think Monarch also with six stars right after that. Uh, Enema is the bottom's best friend, says Louis. High five with nothing. All right, guys. Uh, I think we jumped straight to level four. Let's go. Lobotomy. Why do I see lobotomy, even though letters are missing boil nectarine man won the big one mobility the longest word gloria recinos she got the tomb baby 
molt, oily, toil, limo, lim, bolt, boil, blot, limit, limbo, tomb, mobility. Milt. If you guess a word, you cannot guess again until the lock opens. So when a new lock opens, then you can try to guess again. If you are the one who already guessed a word. Oily. Did anybody did anybody do oily? Oily. Oh, we did oily. Danitza did oily. Limit. Oh, we did limit. Cha. We did limit. Is Ily a word? Tibby? Is Tibby a word? Limo. Oh, we did limo. So, yeah, we did good. Oh, we're skipping three levels, but we didn't guess all the words. So Danitza and Nectarine Man both together at the top with 34 stars. Natalie Dietz follows with 18. Then we got Steph and Ophelia with 16. Joe Lee with 15. Melissa, 12. Bakery, uh, 10. And uh, I don't see who's underneath there, but uh, level four ranking, Nectarine Man takes the cake with 27 stars, Danitza with 13 following right underneath, and then Ophelia third position with 10 stars, nine stars, Rhea, eight stars, Brittany Heavenly and Gloria Rethinos, and then five foot nothing, seven stars, Bakery Mafia six, and I think it's Natalie Dietz after that also with six stars. Uh... Yori is like, good job, it's sucking, Yori. I'm not competitive anymore, says Heaven. Oh, Heaven, good, we've cured you from your competitiveness. That's a good thing. New Year's resolution. Let's be less competitive. I feel like I'm in school again. Ready for level seven? Hit it. There's one fake letter. So maybe F is the fake letter? Yeah, F. F is the fake letter. Oh, Steph, way to go. You got the longest word, limiting. F is the fake letter, Natalie. Don't, no. <laughs> Yori, F is the fake. Yori's like film, flim, film, <laughs> filming. There's no F. F is the fake letter, you guys. <laughs> Jolie's still trying to write filming. There's no F. F is the fake letter. Liming. That's a word. Or is it pronounced liming? Glint, ting, mint, mini, limit, tiling, timing, milting, limiting. Milt, lint, ling, glim, and guilt. One word is missing. What's the last word that's missing? Four letters. Maybe T-I-N-I, like Tainai, Tini. It's not even a word. I don't know. Is it a word? Oh, okay. We missed one word. But uh, 103 points out of 58. Fantastic. We're skipping three levels. Uh-oh. 
Nectarine Man is first with 44, Dan followed by Danitza with 41 and Steph with 39. And then level ranking, we got Steph first with 23 points, Nectarine Man second with 10 points, and then Rhea and Fjord with 9 points each. Uh, in third position, uh, so basically Steph, like you guessed a lot in this round, 23 stars, which pushed Steph up to third position on the total ranking. Mickey says, I understood the is in alphabet order. What? <laughs> woot woot. All right, let's do the next level. Level 10. There's one fake letter. Tor and poor. Rope, tor, trope, rope. Okay, so basically B is fake. Do not use the letter B. There you go. B is fake. Pert, poor, port, rope, poet, wrote, tor, tor, retro, roper, trope, porter, report. The Nectarine Man and Danitza got the longest words, one each. Only one more word missing and we got more than half the time left. You guys are amazing. We did it! Wow! Holy moly! Okay, so Nectarine Man, uh, 59 stars, pole position. Danitza with 49 stars, so 10 points under. Third, uh, second position. Third position, Steph with another 10 points down, 39 stars. And then Ophelia with 28 stars, fourth position. Level 10 ranking, Nectarine Man takes the cake with 15 stars, followed by Danitza with eight. And then Linda and Melissa with seven each. Well, what do you know? So Nectarine Man really, really kind of upped the game in this round, uh, climbing up 15 stars and taking pole position in the lead. 10 points. Steph says, I think I need to start eating some nectarines. <laughs> right? Because the nectarine man knows. Nectarine woke back up. I see, says Carrie. This is making me hangry. I need chocolate. Are you ready for level 13? I don't know if we're going to manage to get to level uh, uh, 20. It would be amazing. Let's see. Level 13, it's probably going to have a fake letter and a hidden letter. Tuna. Tarn. Try spelling tall. Maybe the hidden letter is an L. Altar. Rant turn. Okay, S. S is fake. Don't use S. S is fake. Antro. S is fake. NATO. Anal. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Don't use S. S is fake, you guys. S is the fake word. Why is there a Santa? <laughs> nasal. Linda. S is fake. Linda's like nasal. <laughs> U is the hidden letter. Ultra. Yulner or Ulner. What does Ulner mean? Oh, Ophelia, great. That's a good one. I didn't think about it. Aunt. Now, that was an easy one, but I would have never thought of it. Aunt. We did it, Joe. 71 of 52. The goal was 52.
Ah, they're upping us two levels, not three. We're still far away from level 20. But uh, Danica is, is uh, kind of creeping up on the Nectarine Man. There's only five points difference now, no longer 10. Nectarine Man is in pole position with 59. Danica 54. Steph 45. And then level 13 ranking, Fjord wins with 10 points. Which also moved Fjord up to point to level seven, uh, position seven, on the total ranking, and then uh, Ira and Melissa both got eight points each. Ira got the points for guessing anal. Ira says, out of all this entire game, anal is what I guess. Well, I Y K Y K, honey. I Y K Y K. Heaven, heaven is like good job with the anal. <laughs> you guys, amen of culture. It's a legit word, right? Rice noodles. It is the ratchetness. Trust me, Deco makes a lot of sense. I'd guess it. Ah, there you go, Ira, you see? Jesus is like, everything's holistic. When in doubt, anal, says Legendary Legend. Somebody had to do it, says Heaven. <laughs> there should be a dirty word game. Well, honey, I mean, well, we'll go, we'll go. But uh, too cute we got anal as a team, you know? <laughs> Yuri, yes! <laughs> And the fact that we're so proud of it, that's what really tickles me. That's what tickles me. The fact that we're like so proud that we, well, we, I mean, Ira got it, but like, we're like so proud, you know? We're so proud. I know, like, I know. I'm like, oh, we got anal, you guys. We'll go, we'll go. So are we gonna, are we gonna, beat our uh score are we gonna make it to level 20 i don't know because the next level is 15 you know we might move level for level up to 20 it's gonna get really hard so let's see if we manage to get level 15 done there's gonna be one fake letter and one hidden letter hit it bubbles Chola! I, I see Chola, because I think L is the missing letter. No. Nacho! Yes! Food, baby! So maybe V is the fake letter. S is the missing letter! Okay, guys, the hidden letter is S. The fake letter is V. The fake letter is V. Steph, no. No Havocs, Steph, no V. V is the fake letter. Bakery Mafia, no Vans. V is the... Danitza, no Nova. V is the fake letter. Heaven, no Nova. V is the fake... <laughs> Melissa, no Havoc. V is the... Ophelia, V is... Okay, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Sorry, guys. Vain. Melissa. Va I told you V is the fake letter. No. Cookie Monster. Not. No Vans. V is the fake. Danitza! V, 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 V. It's like, wait, did you say V is a, the fake letter? Let me spell a word with the V. Hold on, let me. <laughs> no, because like V is the fake one, right? So how about Va, 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 Voom? Because, you know, Va, 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 Voom. Side guys, why do you want to spell Nova? There is no V. <laughs> <laughs> I know 
die in ferret. It's like, you guys, the second we guess which letter is the fake letter, everybody starts using that letter. Listen, Linda, let me tell you where it is. If the letter is fake, you should not use it. <laughs> so the Nectarine Man, ah, Nectarine Man got a lot of uh, traction now because again, the distance is 10 points from Steph. So Nectarine Man, 68, Steph, 58. Second position and then with 54, third position, Danitza. Level 15 ranking. Melissa Teresa, 19 points. Which also brings Melissa to fourth position in total ranking. Steph is second with 13 points and Grant Ramirez with 11 points, number three. Now here's where they got us last time at level 18. That's where it got really difficult and we did not surpass level 18. So let's see if we can do it this time, guys. Flooded fam. Hit it, Bubbles. <laughs> Meanwhile, here in the geriatric ward, Amy, <laughs> Amy. <laughs> okay, one fake letter, one hidden letter. I wanna say, of course, porno. Why, why, why these words? Um, but uh, anyway, so I want to say... Which one is the fake one? We used all of them. Wow, Amy, way to go. Profound. So what's the fake word? Ah, uh, okay. The C. Uh, the fake letter is C. Do not use the C. Do not use the C. Oh, and the hidden letter is the O. Spelled turd. <laughs> Heaven spelled turd. <laughs> There's no T. <laughs> There's no four letters. Yeah, what? What? We we surpassed the goal. We did it, Joe. What, I don't. Why the most? Why? Um, the Nectarine Man, 84 points. Uh. Oh, way to go. More than 10 uh, distance from Danitza with 71 points. Steph, 58. Melissa with 53. Rhea, 40. Uh, Rhea is uh, 17 with Danitza. Uh, top position for level 18 ranking. Nectarine Man, third position or second position, technically, with 16 points. And third position, Amy with 14. But can we talk? We made it. We did it, Joe. We jumped all the way to level 21. This was amazing. You guessed every single word on the list. <laughs> Heaven, you, <laughs> you spelled turd. There was no... <laughs> there was no T. <laughs> and there was no... <laughs> and there was no... <laughs> and there was no four-letter words. <laughs> Heaven is like, yes, I... You best believe I spelled turd. <laughs> So anyway, Amy, it's so true. The naughty words put us up on the map. The enema, anal, and uh, porno are the, are the are the words that saved us. Um, so um, we're at level twenty one. I we've never been this far into the territory. I don't know how level twenty one is going to be. Like, are they going to add another complication? Let's see. Louis, next one's gonna be. Fit. Why isn't it playing? Can. So... Lobotomy! 
So it's getting harder. The answers are now hidden. Oh my god. Wow. Holy moly. The answers are now hidden. And there's a hidden letter. Oh boy. Oh, now they appeared. And there was a fake letter. And there was a hidden letter. Oh boy. So I want to say D is the fake letter. Yeah. Oh, atoll. Oh, wow. Ballot, football, taboo, float, bloat. Of course, bloated would be one of our words. Aloft, aloof, alot. What does alot mean? A-L-L-O-T. Oh, it's like, it's, it doesn't mean a lot. It means to, oh, to allot something. I have allotted you this. And a foot. I can't believe you guys guessed every single word. Holy moly. Nectarine Man is 21 points at the top with 100 points. Followed by Danitza with 79 and Steph with 58 and level 21 ranking Nectarine Man pole position with 16 points. Followed by Ivy and Fjord. I mean... Wow. Yeah, Jesus, I'm also shocked. Jesus is like, are y'all using something? <laughs> Ivy's like, I was completely hoping that the secret level was another zero. What do you mean another zero? I want what Nectarine is having, says uh, Carrie. Heaven says, Nectarine Man, are you a writer? Linda says like, geez, the Nectarine Man, you are amazing. Jesus is like giving AI generator vibes. Sideguys is like, I'm jelly. Linda is like, bots, bots, everyone is bots. <laughs> the old lady woke up to say, oh my God. Please don't forget, he says, just got back from eating too much German chocolate cake. It's the sugar rush for me, says Gummy. The other letter being, oh, so football. Oh, gotcha. Heaven is like, he a robot. Heaven is like, I said football. Did you though? <laughs> <laughs> Did you though? Are you sure though? <laughs> well, you guys, I, 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 to quote Twin Peaks, I have no clue what is expecting us in the next level, but I'm sure it's going to be a place both magical and fantastical. Who knows what limitations and challenges expect us in the next level? Monarch, congratulations. I'm just happy I got I get even one word. Here, here. KDB's like, I need my computer back. Jesus is like, y'all be doing lines. Mickey's like, I think I'm dyslexic. Well, let's see what the mystery of level 24 brings. Are y'all ready? Jesus is dyslexic. I'm doing this on an iPhone. This sucks as heaven. Tracy types too slow, says Tracy. Well, let's try out for the first time ever, at least on the Fashion Bunker. Level 24. Hit it, Bubbles. It's getting harder. The answers are now hidden. There's one fake letter and one hidden letter. Listen, Linda, you guessed the longest word. Android. You guys, you're amazing. I'm so bad at this.
so we don't even know what the fake letter is. So if Android was... Android... So H. H is fake. H is fake, I think. Ah! Yeah, H is fake, and D was the hidden letter. Two words are missing. Hmm. Something with a double D. That's what she said. But, uh, I don't mind a double D. Rhea, what does drud mean? That's three Ds. <laughs> so we got Adorn or Adorn, Drain, Nadir, Radio, Radon, Inroad, Ordain, and Android. You guys are incredible. How is this even possible? We're going to level 27. We have never been this far. I don't know what happens after level 30. Does the game end? Like, we're going to, like, beat the game. So, total ranking. Nectarine Man is in pole position with 113 stars. Followed by Danitza with 79 stars. And Steph with 65 together with Fjord, who also has 65. And then in the level 24 ranking, Fjord wins with 18 stars, followed by Nectarine Man with 13. And listen, Linda with nine. Then we got Steph, Five Foot Nothing, and Patty J. But, uh, wow. Amy's like, I told you, Menza Bunka. <laughs> Cha, let me go to bed. Just it's like, Cha, um... Evan is like, I think I got one word. Olo word says I guys. I always knew H was fake. Legendary legend. <laughs> Fjord at the last second, right, Carrie? Laura Sparkles is like droid? <laughs> Who else is using a pen and paper? Oh my god, the Nectarine man just gave us a hint. You guys, let's try this out. I, Nectarine Man, I think this is a great idea because if you use pen and paper, it uh, the computer doesn't mess with you because the computer keeps scrambling the letters. And so they, they keep changing in front of your eyes. But if you write them down on a piece of paper and don't look at the computer, you can coordinate the letters better. That's a great idea. Thank you so much for the tip, Nectarine Man. Heaven is like, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Bakery Mafia says, that is so smart. Mickey's like, ah, that's the secret. Steph says, not me, I can't juggle. A pencil and a keyboard at the same time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like I always say of myself, I'm a humble hoe. I, I'm a humble hoe. I don't, I'm a humble hoe. I, I, I can't multitask like that. Um, <laughs> Heaven is like, by the time I write the letters down, the game will be over. Carrie's asking, Nectarine, are you using pencil or pen? I ask as a former math club kid. Linda says, write all letters down one time, then type from your paper. Interesting. Amy, yeah, no, you definitely need a strategy, especially because I'm thinking, you guys, like, how do you always guess the really long words? Like, Steph, right? You guessed Android before, right? I find writing them down is more flexible as we need to scratch and add letters from the mix. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've never been this far, so we definitely can use all the tips we can get because at this point, like... The Hardcore Math Club kids had their blue pens pre-started. Uh, I haven't said some people are just really good when they use the word, when they see the word. Yeah, for sure. That too, that too. But I think writing it down really helps. Yes, Jizz is the peen and the paper. So are you guys ready? So now that we have this tip, uh, take a pic with your cell phone, says Rice Noodles. 
Uh, if you want to try it out, let's try it out. So, guys, whoever wanted to get a to grab a paper, I think by now you have grabbed a paper and a pen or a pencil. Uh, everybody ready? Are we ready to try to go into the next stratosphere? I really want to reach level 30. So bad. All right. Uh, Natasha says, I'm not even playing this. This is not my wheelhouse. It's, it's fun to watch. The only thing I'm good for is guessing according to all the words that you guys are writing. Like, I, I can guess the fake letter and the letter that's missing that's what i'm that's the only thing i'm good for here everything else i'm just a nuisance but anyway we'll go we'll go not the tip oh honey we all the fashion bunker is all about the tip honey it's a succulent delicious tip and we always give it to each other so anyway uh get your minds out of the gutter uh level 27 my ratchet fashion bunker family humble hose are you ready? Hit it, Bubbles. Jesus says everyone took Nectarine's tip, Henny. <laughs> the shortest word is five letters. The longest word is seven? Is it... yeah, seven. One letter is fake. One letter is missing. Oh, I, oh please. I really want to make it. Heaven! Heaven, you did it, girl! Way to go, Heaven. You did it. Shrine. Did anybody spell shrine? Maybe shrine. I don't know what the fake letter is. Well, they're going to... Oh, boy, we're going to lose. Guys, the goal is 82. We only got 27. And time is almost up. I have no clue. The goal is 82. We're at 27. Noses, scones, scones, cones. Okay. Two fake letters. Duff. Two fake letters. The music started playing with that da 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 da, and Monarch is like, bling! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Way to go, Monarch! But it still wasn't enough. Damn it. Look at Heaven! Heaven pole position, level 27 ranking. Heaven got 8 points, 5 foot nothing, and Kuki uh, got 7. Monarch got four and Grand Ramirez got five. The Nectarine Man wins with 113 points, followed by Danitza with 79, and then Steph and Fjord with 65 each, Melissa 53, Rhea 40, Ophelia 38, and Grant 36. Great job, everybody. Jesus, heaven ate this round. Okay, I tried writing the letters, but it was moving, so that didn't work. Heaven, it's not moving if you write it on your own piece of paper. Heaven, if the letters were moving around on your own piece of paper, then we got another problem. <laughs> Jesus is asking, are there any music games? No, no, it's just these two for now. Gloria Rethinos just gifted five super dick of memberships. So... You know what that means, we'll go, we'll go. Steven Skyo was gifted a membership by Gloria Rathinos. Alyssa in Wonderland was gifted a membership by Gloria Rathinos. 
My Sita was gifted a membership for Gloria Rathinos. Luna Marinelli was gifted a membership for Gloria Rathinos. Bible believing Christian was gifted a membership for Gloria Rathinos. Welcome, all new tier one members, and thank you, Gloria Rathinos, for this a holiday festivity gifting suite. Uh, that was a hoot, right? So we had a little bit of a game moment, you know. We had a little bit of uh, fun and games. Legendary Legend says, Heaven 889. Chizzes says, I gave mine. Hi, Chizzes. Good morning. Amy says, oh, no, Amy says, Amy gifted five Super Deco memberships. EG Baby was gifted a membership by Amy Carmen. The chat... Doesn't work for me. Hey guys, hold on. I have to scroll down. I don't see who got the memberships. More. There. Rosha Kishki was gifted a membership by Amy Carmen. Tina was gifted a membership by Amy Carmen. Andre Matt was gifted a membership by Amy Carmen. Five Foot Nothing gifted five Super Deco memberships. Oh no, Sanita was gifted a membership by Amy Carmen. Now, Shitsus was gifted a membership by Five Foot Nothing. Chats are blocked. Lux Dahlia was gifted a membership by Five Foot Nothing. Sai was gifted a membership by Five Foot Nothing. HL was gifted a membership by Papa Nothing. Angie Massimo was gifted a membership by Papa Nothing. Welcome here, everybody. I think that's all of our new members. We'll go, we'll go. Oh, Heaven says, you saved me from crying today, you guys. Oh, sweetie. Don't be sad. Bunker Familia Growen says, Gloria Rathenos. Yas Quinn. Yas Quinn. Heaven is asking, nine what? Inches? <laughs> go, we go. Um, oh, Melissa Teresa, welcome to Tier 1, sweetie. Thank you for joining. And I forgot for four hours uh, that I was home alone. There you go, Linda. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed this four-hour live stream journey. Uh, you know, and... Uh, Jesus is like, hi, first time commenting, love your channel. Do you like Shantik? <laughs> let me take toilet paper, cha. Let, let me pull a, let me, let me, let me pull another um, Chiara Ferragni moment. I'm so sorry that uh, the uh, money that was supposed to go for charity that it went into my bank account. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the charity. Oh, the poverty. You guys, you don't know how expensive it is to do my hair. The wigs. The blowouts. My lips, my eyeballs. You don't know how expensive it is to buy these bags. So what? I took some money from Chevity. Look at me, I'm poverty. <laughs> Allegedly. So who's the gifter? Who's the gifter? Ah. Oh. Catherine of Sweden was gifted a membership by Melissa Teresa. Marlo Brandon was gifted a membership by Melissa Teresa. Ophelia XOXO was no, saying, love this game night live, thank you. Tyler Teaches was gifted a membership by Melissa Teresa. Lyra V was gifted a membership by Melissa Teresa. Kara Mizell was gifted a membership by Melissa Teresa. We'll go, we'll go. 
Waffled syrup. Welcome to tier one, sweetie. Thank you for becoming a member. And what will go, will go the next one. That's that. Oh, we did it. We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. Ah. Oh, back to crying. Oh, like Chiara Ferragni. The photo is taken from, from Chiara Ferragni's own Instagram account. Isn't she lovely? Lovely. Isn't she pretty? So guess what, you guys? Allegedly, the ANSA press in Italy is calling her out now because they say that she allegedly already pulled a stunt like this in the past where she was selling panettone. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Um that she was uh, we'll go we'll going uh the past scam alleged was easter eggs <laughs> you guys so the the press has been do digging up some stuff so apparently she um so this year was the panettone it was a pink panettone that uh you know so i've been reading more into this so apparently she with the company that was doing the panettone, they said a uh, part of the proceeds are going to this charity, this hospital. But what they did was apparently, and I have to repeat, allegedly, they gave 50,000 euro to the charity before they even sold the panettones. And then when they started selling the panettones, none of the proceeds of the sales went to charity, allegedly. And this is why the Italian state fined her and the company of the Panettone for a million, she had to pay a million euro, apparently. Uh, not out of the goodness of her heart, but because they find her, because it said part of the proceeds of the Panettone goes to charity, but apparently, allegedly, the proceeds did not go. They paid before the sale of the Panettone, 50,000 to charity, but that's not part of the proceeds. So it went, uh, so she isn't paying. She doesn't want to pay the one million. She's fighting it. She's like, she is fighting it. She is fight. She does not want to give one million to charity. Okay. So she's going to appeal. She's going to appeal. Um, she isn't paying one million to, to, to the government. She wants to fight it. She's fighting it. Not, not charity, government. She doesn't want to, anyway, whatever. Allegedly everything. But so now this Italian newspaper has been digging up what happened in the past. So apparently, on uh, I don't know how long ago, if this year, if last year or this year, or how many years ago for Easter, she did another one of those charity events with Easter eggs. And uh, she, so sorry, I'm getting a correction here. She isn't paying one million to the government. She's fighting to she is fighting because she does not want to pay the one million to the government. She wants to pay one million to the hospital. Those are two different things. Now this uh, newspaper is claiming that she pulled the, the, the switcheroo with the Easter eggs. So now I guess they're going to investigate how the charity event with the proceeds from the Easter eggs went. If she took that money... <laughs> Or if she gave it to the hospital. Um, so apparently, allegedly, she made millions but paid them 35000 in chari charitable donations. Uh, it was a charity for autism. Chizis is like, she needs a slab. Chizis is like, well... Now she has to sell Panettone. Mickey says she makes one million a month. Jesus says time for OF. Um, the House of Louis says Panettone, honey. <laughs> and yes, for all my Italian friends, of course I know it's Panettone. Of course I know it's Panettone. But I love the way that, um, what's her name? Always says Panettone. The drag queen. Coco something. Um, the bag looks fake, says Carrie. Tch. Linda says her <laughs> Carrie's like, yeah. Linda says her pants look like she worked on the farm before heading into town. <laughs> oh, 
Also, like, how wide are those hips? That's... I love a curvaceous wide hip, don't get me wrong, but, uh... I don't know. Maybe she's holding in a fart or something. But, uh, hey, no shame there. Uh, we've all held one in. Okay. Uh, Chiara, we have all held a fart in, honey. I mean, uh, sooner or later, all of us went through this. We all had to let one rip, but couldn't because we were in public or because we were in our Birkin room. And um, there you go. Coco Peru. Yes, Jesus. Panettone. Coco Peru Panettone. Peter Vabbit is shaking the legendary legend. House always says, that bag looks more fake than my enthusiasm to go to work. Hmm. She will go back to brunette, says, sorry, she's given purple Yeti, says Amy. Uh, love that she wears her coochie hair as a coat. Uh, happy holidays to you too, Jedi Monkey. Um, Carrie says, my Walmart bath rug looks nicer. It's like, we, we can't even go through one topic without, without turning it, without turning into kindergarten kids throwing the shade. Look at us. We are so ratchet. I can't even. But, uh, I mean, the comment. Love that she wears her coochie hair as a coat. Y'all. Amy says, and I'm just quoting here. Don't shoot the messenger. Says what she did was filthy. Sorry. Riri allegedly. Riri says she is getting canceled. So glad I didn't buy the Nespresso coffee machine endorsed by her. Says Riri. Uh, <clears throat> So Riri said she's getting canceled. So glad I didn't buy the Nespresso coffee machine endorsed by her. What did she say she would donate for the Nespresso? Oh, Amy says, I have a soft spot for autistic kids. You're like, don't steal money from autistic kids. It can't get worse, uh, D says. says uh, Nectarine Man says, why is the whole image giving AI generated? Well, it's from her Instagram account, so... I mean, I didn't alter the photo, so I don't know. Maybe she generated it somehow and posted it to Insta. I don't know. Um, the ratios of the bag are just so strange as Carrie. Well, it's a northeast or northwest, whatever they're called. Mickey says, no, she's not getting canceled. People love her. The sheeps. Oh, really, Mickey? Fjord says, I assume the photo was heavily edited. Laura says, yes, looks very AI. Half of her upper body isn't aligned with the bottom half. That's why I said the, 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 yeah, the hips look huge, no? Amy says, my kid, is, uh, my kid is autistic, so. Don't steal money from kids and animals, says Linda. Don't steal money from anybody, y'all. Steph says, I low-key had no idea who this woman was. Never heard of her in my entire life until she was mentioned on a recent stream. And I wanted to never mention her in my life, but then you guys were pushing since several streams. You're like, what about, what about Chiara Verani? What about Chiara Verani? What about Chiara Verani? What about Chiara Verani? Uh, going to sound like uh, I live under a rock, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know of her. Good for you, Jolie. You didn't miss anything in my humble opinion. So, yeah. Zeitgeist asked, what does she do to become famous? So a friend of mine back in the day told me that she was uh, allegedly when Instagram was just beginning, you know, uh, with her back then boyfriend, she would be doing as skin revealing as possible photos on Instagram. Started building fame. Step by step. You know, Kardashian way. 
the Hilton way. <laughs> Mine is the videotape, I guess. But uh, just like Joan Rivers said, I'm go. I'm giving my money to charity. That's the name of my closet, says Louie. Mickey says she became famous 15 years ago with her blog, The Blonde Salad. She was the first one to do it. Well, before The Blonde Salad, she was the blonde skin on Instagram. <laughs> Why? Um, Jesus is asking, why does she even have 30 million followers on Instagram? Who even is this charlatan? I'm just reading a comment. This is in their opinion. Rice noodles swiper, no swiping, no swipping, swipping. Fjord says, scantily clad. Audrey says, Jesus, with the birthing comment. Uh, Anyway, oh my God, I did not know who she really is. But then years ago, I bought her shoes without really knowing. <gasps> Grace Chen, she got you. She got you good. <laughs> is it just me who's bothered by the fur coat? Edu asks and asks again. Is it just me who's bothered by the fur coat? <laughs> I'm bothered by the proportions of the fur coat, personally. But the color, I like the color. But the proportions, I don't like. Uh, Grace Chen says, you know those shoes with big eyes? <laughs> the googly eyes, like I said. So she's basically the Italian Paris Hilton. Well, without the rich family at her back, she self-made. Sh self Self-shelf-made. I've never heard of her, says Five Foot Nothing. I guess she got famous as she's one of the first to use social media. Mickey says, I was before, it was before Instagram. Carrie says, I will say that I do like the color of the coat. It was not before Instagram, Miki. Instagram was around like 2003. I don't think she was doing Blonde Salad in 2003. What was she? A fetus in 2003. What was she going to do in 2003? Talk about baby diapers? Like style? Like what? Louis says, well, well, I'm going to sell my picturettes. <laughs> my picturettes. Uh, the Blonde Burgola says, legendary legend. Grace Chan says, I feel these kinds of fur coats should be a little more cropped. Hmm. Seth says, every time I try to buy a coat similar to that, I look 10 times wider than she does. The cut of the coat does no favors, says Steph. Donatella Versace loves her, says Merfed. Teresa, hi, Terry. I've never heard of her either. Yeah, good for you, actually. Chizza says, no. Edu says, the color is amazing, but fur is no. No go in 2023. Mickey says, Instagram, it's from 2010. No, her... No, it's not true. Don't... Don't make me get Google out. Instagram is from before that. the hell 2010 you're right mickey so i was either really very high in 2004 or was there another social platform where you could post photos to because i remember vividly 2004 and photos being posted no not myspace I'm completely confused on. Confused on. She posted them there? What did she? No, not Facebook. No, because you guys, when Instagram was first initiated, it wasn't um, owned by Facebook. Instagram was its own thing. Um, Zuckerberg didn't buy it yet. Hi, OCD. Yeah, you missed you missed the unboxing. Um, yes, Murphy. I don't know. It's one of those Mandela effects because I'm like convinced it started in two thousand and four. 
Instagram. Facebook started in 2009. How is this possible, you guys? I'm really confused, Sean. I know, Edu, I time traveled. How did, what did I do in 2004? Cha, could you imagine? I was blacking out all the time. Me in 2004, honey, it's a miracle I survived. But, uh, so, uh, huh. Well, that was a very short-lived, uh, because Facebook, I mean, you know, we'll go, we'll go. Who uses Facebook anymore? Merry Christmas, Nay. Oh, Zeitgeist, you were you were five years old in 2004. Cha. The youth, the youth of it all. I am confused. <laughs> I am so confused, Sean. I, I really, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm shook. I'm seriously shook. Louie, you were in secondary school in 2004. Y'all. Wait a minute, Jesus. YouTube is 2005. Natasha says Facebook was earlier than 2007. Okay, well, let me see. I'm shook. Shook that Instagram is 2010. Shook. Okay. We'll go, we'll go. Ugh, it doesn't want to do it. When was Facebook? 2004. February 4th, 2004. Facebook is a social network service originally launched as The Facebook on February 4th, 2004 before changing it name, its name to simply Facebook in August 2005. But for one year, it was called The Facebook. Heaven is like, I think influencer crap started like 2010 and up. <laughs> um, Chizza says, my account is 2006, so I knew it was a bit older. Sylvia was not of school age in 2004. Oh my God, look at all the chillins. The chillin in the chats. Smurfette is like, wow. Nay says, interesting. Oh yeah, the Facebook. Louis says he was a virgin in 2004. And, but that's no mo. <laughs> oh, Louis, them was the days. Cha, that took me back. Uh, it was a Harvard thing first, says heaven. That must be it then. Me too, Smurfette. Complete amnesia. Mickey says, well, I was too little to have my own computer. Legendary Legend says, Jacob is shaking. Yeah, shooketh, shooketh. Linda says, my 29-year-old tells me to stay on Facebook. Don't do TikTok or Snapchat, etc. That's when you know you're old. Oh. Poverty. I just said 2004 was year one or two of primary school. Cha. Oh my god, I'm so full. I kept back from Danae. Yeah, Facebook was a college only. LMAO, so elitist. Oh, she says, I wasn't giving it out yet <laughs> for a picoton. <laughs> Can we just say this is kind of my type of, also like in slut years. I, I see the world in slut years. Like, I, I agree with OCD. It's like, like uh, 2004, I wasn't giving it out yet for a picotin. Mm. Oh, honey. I don't remember who I was giving it to in 2004, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> who? Quite a, quite a bit of people. But uh, yeah. So yeah. Um, American Princess. Yes, Jacob, the slut years. The, my autobiography. Soon at Target. <laughs> Right next to Julia Fox's uh, book. We both did it ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So 2007 was the birth of my exchange rate. Ah! Oh, she did. 
Steph says, ever since the movie The Social Network in 2010, I swore off Facebook I'm not going to be part of their machine to manipulate people. I'll buy that book, says American Princess. It is 2004. I remember my boyfriend asking me to wear less Lulu. <laughs> What a random thing. <laughs> what a random thing to remember. <laughs> love it, though. I love that. <laughs> Hi, Julie Scott. How's it going, sweetie? Cookie says, I passed my board exam in 2004. I've been in my profession for almost two decades now. Holy moly, girl. Congratulations. Well, you need to celebrate. Two decades. It's, it's respectable. Very respectable. Jesus is telling Edu he was trying to mask you up. Mask for mask. Edu, in his mask for mask years, the early, the Y2K era for Edu was the mask for mask. The Y2K era for Jacob was the slut years. <laughs> um, Linda S. says, can you believe Zuckerberg started Facebook to rate girls? I mean, like nothing would surprise me from that alien. But uh, in 04, I was likely wearing so lace up the side baby fat jeans and cotton class. Heaven is like my baby making years. And they said, wait, what? It was like, was intense back there. Linda, can I call him a baboon? <laughs> Careful, Lin listen, Linda. Face smash. Oh, sorry for the typos. Oh, thank you, American princess. Yup, it's true. Sucker, but okay. No, well, allegedly, allegedly, rice noodles, allegedly. House of Louis says, uh, the mask for mask uh, era was my lifting weight era. One after the other, hun. <laughs> Amy says, yep, the Facebook was born out of rejection by women, allegedly. Legendary Legend says, mask for mask with the theater masks. Oh, right. How they met the girls. Ha. Ugh. Rating people one to ten says, nay, is the grossest thing to me. Steph says, for me, nothing exciting happened after the year 2000. I was born in the 70s, raised in the 80s, and partied in the 90s. After that, it's all downhill. <laughs> Jol Jolie says, well... It was in the biographical movie called Face Smash. It was a cha 2000s. I was in I'm a Slave for You, Britney Realness. Five Foot Nothing is like, I'm so old. And he's like, hey, yes! I'm a slave for you. I cannot hide it. I cannot deny it. I'm a slur slurve for you. I couldn't hurt it. I couldn't just nerd it. <laughs> I'll earn my slur for you, lord, turtle, 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 turtle. Um. Oh, Pharrell. If only he would be producing stuff today that had any sort of, you know, attractivity. I was listening to ABBA in secondary school. All the gays were Britney and Madonna. Yeah, now he's producing other things, Nectarine Mans. Like I says, I just turned 25 and I feel old already. Girl, you feel old at 25? You're basically telling everybody else who's older than you that they are like decrepit. Farrell clicked a button and hoped for the best. Says so just, <laughs> we'll go, we'll go, Dacov. I am MM. 25 is baby. Stop, says Nay. You're just a baby, says Linda. Bratstall says, how old is Dacob? I am 237 years old. Thank you very much. Chizis says, I was owed in 2004. Nay turns 36 next month. Oh, there you go. Bubbles answered. I'm over 300 years old. Bubbles, how dare you reveal the true age? <laughs> I've been at, at Lowe's doing same position for 25 years, nine months, 50 in April. No, I feel old. Lol. 25 is the best age I wish, says Marina. 25 is middle age, realistically, says Jesus. What are you talking about? We're not in the middle ages. 
where people used to kick the bucket at the age of 28. But imagine 40 degrees summer in Brazil and she have like 10 times Lulu sprayed on. But imagine 40 degrees summer in Brazil and she have like 10 times Lulu sprayed on. I love how Edu like repeats everything twice. <laughs> OCD is the crypt keeper. I am a young vampire, says Nay. So am I. Stop counting my age. I'm a vampire. Darn it, says Jedi Monkai. The Picky Ricky. I'm 34. Nay says, and Bubbles revealed she is a brat stall. I love that for her. Same, babe. The House of Lies is 25. I was on my prime, mama. Tight and skinny. Now, well, anyway. <laughs> Cookie says, a lot has happened in the last few years. It's enough to make everyone feel older than they are. Linda says, I'm 60, but I don't feel it or act it. LOL. Legendary Legend says, Jacob is a vampire. Always have been, always was be. Was be. <laughs> hey, I just created a new grammatical form. I always was be. I claim it. It's my own. <laughs> Kev firmly believes that humans are not meant to live past 35. That's a theory. Uh, that's a theory. Mickey says, 25, it's not middle age. No, I don't, I don't think so either. Nay says, 30 is hot. I feel a lot better about my appearance than in my 20s, but I was also a party girl back then. Carrie says, the world seems to be changing so much faster than it used to. Technology is completely unrecognizable from my childhood, and I'm 32. Anne-Marie. Hi, Anne-Marie. I'm 38 in February. Was be, was be, honey, nay, right? Was go, was go. Like, was be. <laughs> Went to babies. Geriatric ward here at 51, still feeling sexy, though, says Amy. Was be. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go. Yeah. Uh, I think it must be a problem with the chat. I only send a message once. Uh, now, now, it, now, it, now it came only once. Jolie Simple Opinion is 56, and you're still young, Amy, says five foot nothing. Linda gifted five Super Deco memberships. Terry turns 51 in January 17th, on January 17th. Julie Scott was gifted a membership by Linda S. Estatea Leon was gifted a membership by Linda S. Barb Sawyer Lifestyles was gifted a membership by Linda S. Flora Chung was gifted a membership by Linda S. Myra Medina was gifted a membership by Linda S. Yas Quins. Welcome to all the new tier one members. Lux84 says, I'm 39 and I love being older. Smurfet says, I'm 51. If 25 is middle aged, then I'm decrepit. Nay says, Right, Carrie, I spent an hour explaining how there was. No streaming in my childhood to the kiddos last night. Samantha Jones is shaking, right? Teresa, fellow Capricorn goddess, happy almost birthday, babe, says nay to Terry. Oshidi says, was be is what you thought you were, but yet to be. What would you say if he was be in what you thought you were, but yet to be will go, will go? Um, <laughs> I'm hoping in the next 20 years they perfect the ability to replace all body pads with robotics. I'm completely up for being totally robotic, other than my brain. Even might clone my brain. <laughs> and he says, Jacob, have you, uh, what, what, gone, what, what, potato? Jacob, have you dated someone younger than you? I mean, like, obviously, since you're like 237, but like in general, what do you think about age difference in relationships? Women older than men, for example. I wake up, wake up. As long as it's of legal age. Um, and uh, you both got the maturity necessary for a relationship. We'll go, we'll go. And you're not harming anybody. We'll go, you know what I mean? Like, what are we talking about here? Like 40 years difference? I did date an older, older person for a brief period of time. It was very Wugowish. Uh 
Yeah. Younger, difficult. Uh, like, what are we talking? Like, young, young, like, of age, but like, still, you know what I mean? Like, still not fully mature with no life experience younger? Because that's a little bit like, what are you going to talk about? You know what I mean? Like, what? And I know your ratchet hoes in the chat are going to think like, oh, there won't be much talking, honey. <laughs> No, but I'm seriously like, what are you going to talk about? You need something in common more than just the libido, you know? So it's a little bit difficult when somebody's like, but then again, I've also encountered people who are older than me, but they behave like they're really, really immature. Like they're not mature at all. So it's kind of like their biological age was higher than mine, but their maturity level was much lower than mine. Major turnoff, major turnoff. And uh, I've also encountered like people who are biologically younger than me, but were uh, biologically younger than me. I don't think I've ever encountered somebody more mature than me, even though they were biologically younger than me. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I remember when uh, when Windows wasn't a thing. Cha, that would be me, says Chizus. We played Pokemon Go together, says Heaven. Oh, always older. Oh, legendary legend. <laughs> so you need to date like a vampire, basically. Uh, American Princess says, a simple opinion. I think my mom had a dot matrix printer when I was in school. Oh my gosh. Fabulous, kind of. Boo says, me and my boyfriend met when I was young looking. Being gay, I'm afraid that my boyfriend one day will leave me for someone younger. If your boyfriend is that superficial, that all they see in you is a body and looks, then you're with the wrong person to begin with. You know? Ivy says, I made a rule when I turned 20 that 10 years older than me was my limit. At the same time, I've been hit on guys who are my age now and older since I was 16 and always found it ick, so I don't know. Jolie says, no, Google. We played Trivial Pursuit at Patty's. Steph says, once I dated a guy that was 20 years younger than me, and when he brought his backpack to a nice dinner, I knew I jumped the shark. Heaven says, I prefer older, but younger men come up to me. Well, younger straight guys, they uh, they do, you know, want a more experienced lady sometimes to initiate them into the secrets and the mysteries of the sexuality. So it's a thing, you know, they're into the experienced partner. Nay says, I've usually dated same age-ish or slightly older or younger. My biggest age gap, the guy was extremely clingy, even though he technically had his shit together a bit more than my others. Gosh, we all went through the same stuff, didn't we, huh? Just says, boo, that would be a good riddance. Which one? Uh, ha, Steph, that's why 10 is the limit. Oh, I don't know. It's all about just personality clicking and your own preferences. I also get really grossed out by older guys hitting on me, says Nay. I like daddy types, but can still move young, says Heaven. Side guy says, lol. Everyone is talking about their love life, and then there's me. I've never had a boyfriend. Oh, side guys, never say never. It'll happen when the time is right. Heaven says, Deco, my dude left me for a dude. Kinky. Well... Here's my thought on that. If your uh, dude left you for a dude, if I were a woman, that would be less bad for me than if he left me for another woman. Because if he left me for another woman, I would be sitting there thinking, what she got that I don't got? Why is she better than me? Why is she younger than me? She more better looking than me? Why no better than me? Why no better than me? But now it's like, oh, okay, the dude's gay. Oh, okay. I, I can deal with that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like for a gay, like imagine having a, a gay relationship, two men together, and then your partner 
realizes, I don't know how, but whatever. Oh, I'm into women and leaves you for a woman. I would, that would be easier for me to accept and process and move on from it than if he left me for another guy. That's just me. Because, like, I can't compete. There's no competition. The woman is the woman. The man is the man. So, Jesus says, my dude left me for a horse. Well, well you know. Shoot it to your family. Uh, my husband is three months older than me, and we met in high school. We grew up together. Oh, pal, that's so romantic. Love that. Jacob channeling his inner Cardi B. Yeah. Well, now uh, he's with another woman, and, well, she's really bad, like, oh, a sex worker. And OF and escort. Out of the oh. Heaven is like, I could write a book. So, so he was with you left you for a man, then left the man for another woman. Oh, heaven says, no, he wanted me with the other man as well. It was bad. So that's why I'm here. Oh, oh, so he wanted a threesome. Heaven is like, he wants anything breathing, LOL. Okay, so he honey. Honey. Jolie says, my wanted to stay married and cheat. Ouch. Ivy says, he wanted to have his cake and eat it too. Carrie's like, this is why I'm single, y'all. Amy's like, I had a boyfriend that was gay. Best lover ever. Cha. <laughs> I love how Amy ends it with a <laughs> What do you mean by horse exactly? <laughs> Legendary legend. Like, but let's talk about the size. <laughs> oh, Jolie's like, no, 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 no. Wanted to stay married to me, but cheat with dudes. Uh huh. To each their own, but he can't make you want something you don't want, heaven, says Paul. Mickey says, I know a guy that had no doubt about being gay and only gay. Then he fell in love with a girl and now they are together. Interesting. Nay says, God damn, I now miss something, Jesse. The ad ended and Jacob is just like, Theresa! <laughs> Letty's like, Gloria. We'll go, we'll go. I'm in that kind of situation just starting though, but I'm on a, I'm an overthinker, so I'm second guessing the relationship. Heaven says, Amy, same. That's what sucks. And a huge eggplant emoji. Heaven. The only quote from the TV show Girls that I believe is worth quoting is when one of the chicks said, Good dick is a prison. Why is that? Why is that? But it is that. <laughs> Cock a doodle doo, chizzes. Yeah. Now he says, I had New Year's hookup with a friend who then came out to me and we actually had an amazing night staying up talking into the morning after terrible sex together. Oh, that's kind of cute. I mean, in a, in a friendship, romantic, cute kind of way. A smurf is like, that's so true. Lux is like, LMA, y'all, but good dick is a prison. Um, Louis says, in Texas, we be hooking up with married men Without even knowing it, California closets queen, mama. Okay. Five foot nothing. So it is. Miss Jelly is digmatized. And Steph says, because good D is hard to find. Heaven says, well, when they use the right words with it. Mm. Gloria says, Letty, I'll just say, take it slow and savor. Try not to get too deep, though. And don't get involved with anybody else too soon, Letty. Whatever you do. 
Lux is like, writes this down. Ah, oh, got a friend out of it. And <laughs> Bible believing Christian. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, sweetie. Legendary Legends are tough. Good booty is a is a prison too. Cause uh, you know. Just saying, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not hooked to the front or to the back. I like both sides. <laughs> Heaven says, we got fashion here, game shows, and therapy. Jacob is giving top energy. Yes. I mean, for the most part, yes. You know, that's what I'm good at. <laughs> and that's what I enjoy doing the most. But, uh... I I can be, you know, altruistic. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Where are my bottoms at? <laughs> you know, we'll go, we'll go. Never a dull moment in the bunker. You best believe, Bobble. Uh, yeah, yeah, ladies, I'm always sad. Uh, certain people can talk you into certain things. Oh, well, you know. Oh, heaven. I'm surprised you even know how to spell virgin still after everything you've told us. <laughs> well, he says, I've stayed in relationships just because of the booty. And I'm a bottom, says Louis. Oh, well, but you're a best, a best. It's a... <laughs> Legendary legend. <laughs> I do declare. I do declare. We are all adults here. It's life, right? Right, Amy? I mean, we you live and you learn. You experience and you learn. And then you figure out, oh, you know, I like this. I don't like that. Oh, this feels good to me. This doesn't. Eh, you know. I was a top in my last relationship, says Boo. But my current... BF eggplant is so good. I'm a bottom no. <laughs> with a teardrop emoji. And, and and we all know that that teardrop emoji happens during. The wardrobe is giving a bit of preacher chic tonight. Yes, Steph. I mean, you know. I'll do declare. I'll do declare. Preacher chic. You get me, Jacob. You get me. <laughs> Madonna did confessions on a dance floor, honey. We're doing confessions on the bunker flow. <laughs> confessions on the fashion bunker flow. And uh, that that's that, you know. And it's not like we got to put the teardrop tattoo if we, you know, unalived someone. No, Henny. In the fashion bunker, the teardrop tattoo is if we did the deed and bottomed for the steed. <laughs> Love stinks, see the way you fly, says heaven. I've been asexual for the last seven years, says Kookie. Ooh, but I feel that I'm ready to explore my sexuality again. Way to go, sweetie, but take your time. Doesn't matter. You do whatever feels comfortable to you. Period. Period. Nay says, that is the iteration of Madonna I most identify with. Slay, right? Like, Y'all faces would be covered. Oh, heaven. Psyche says, never done anything yet. Still waiting for a boyfriend. When the time is right, it's right. You know. Steph says, should we start a new trend with the tear tattoo? Change the meaning per se. Yeah. If the eggplant fits just right, 
teardrop tattoo. <laughs> Done. Yeah, yeah, don't rush it. I definitely would also recommend to never rush getting to know people in general. It's a flow, you know, and it's also, it has a lot to do with, oh, well, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If the synchronicity, honey. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something more, says Boo. He doesn't mind and is very understand when bottoms have accidents, which has always been my fear. He puts me at ease, but for the past year, he has been stressed. So no SEX. Natalie, never give up on love. Carla, ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays, Deka Bubbles and Fbers. Fashion Bunkerettes, Lux 84 LMAO. Hi, Carla. Ho, ho, ho to you too, sweetie. Interesting. And you think that the only reason is the stress? Or is there something else going on? Rice Noodle says, when finding a partner, you are looking for your compliment, not your other half. You're looking for someone to compliment you, not compliment you. I mean, it's nice when they compliment you too, but you want somebody to compliment you, right? That's what you're, what you're saying, right? Um, I used to think I had to lose my virginity. I, it got it. It got me into a lot of trouble physically and emotionally. Just make sure someone is kind and you trust them. It's what matters most. I agree. Louis says, my first time was in the back of my dad's pickup truck. The time was right. <laughs> Louis. Evan says, my heart was so broke. I stayed in, in this air for a year and a half. I'm scared of men. Uh, I, did, I did it in a Yugo the night. What? Hold on. No, okay. Some of the live stream, but uh, the night of my prom. Ah, heaven. Wow. That is, that you need to write a book at this point. Lux is loving the chats right now. In a Yugo. You, you lost it in a Yugo. Jesus, take take the wheel, Jesus. I can't. Heaven, you're an icon. <laughs> Sex is great for stress release. Oh, Tracy B, don't we know it? So true. Yep. I was crazy as having a flipping Yugo. I was great. No, heaven. I don't think you were crazy. I think you were living the love, honey. Uh, 282 likes. Is it possible that we are literally 18 likes away from 300? Letty, yeah, your fault. You started the convo. I catch him. Uh, Boo says, uh, ooh. Um, well, yes, they could. My bad English, no good, right? So, I mean, that's a normal thing, but you have to figure out what it is that, uh, what it is he wants, what it is you want, and talk about it. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know what our main demographic is. I think, uh, Kev, our main demographic is like over 30, I want to say. Uh, and then a mix of men and women, maybe a little bit more women than men. Julie, of course, Julie's going to say, was there room to even have sex in a Yugo? <laughs> the shade. My first time was on, oh, hey, Tyler. Tyler joins the chat by talking about sex on a bench in a park. Very bohemian. Well, Tyler, I would not expect anything less of you, darling. <laughs> Heaven is like it was 1980. Heaven being completely Sofia Petrillo. Picture it. The back of a Yugo car. 1988. What am I looking at? Ah, my demographics. Cha, okay. Uh, my demographics on YouTube. We'll go, we'll go. So, female. Are you ready for this? Female audience. 
male, 26.1%. 13 to 17 years old, 0%. 18 to 24 years old, 6.9%. 25, I was right about the age. Well, you'll see. 25 to 34 years old, 24.5%. 35 to 44 years old, 29.9%. That's the biggest number, 35 to 44 years old. 45 to 54, 21.6%. 55 to 64, 11.8%. 65 plus 5.1 percent. Nay says, sex and cars is cute in movies, but we are all too tall. (laughs) Oh my God, I'm so late. Merry Christmas. Hi, basic bag lady. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So there you go. That's the demographic. My first time ended with and unaliving. His mom called and told him his aunt unalived right after we finished. Well, at least you got to finish. The demographic is horny bottom, says Louis. I'm too old, like Sadie for the seven. Sex and cats is cute in movies. Oh, blah, blah, blah. oh my God, I'm late. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. I think I'm old. Merry Christmas. Old, blah, blah, blah. Andrea Myers. Hi, Andy. I'm in the 5%, says Andy. And Marie says, yay, 29%. <laughs> I'm like the crypt keepers is all shitty. I call the shots. We'll go, we'll go, basic bag lady. Kev says, guess we don't need to feel guilty about our R-rated content. I mean, look at us. An AI-generated pink boudoir. What, what do you expect? What conversations do you <laughs> Who would it? We'll go, we'll go. I mean, look at us. I also think it sounds like a good mix, Gloria. I think so. My mama gave someone a heart attack during it. Lo- oh, really, Lux? Well, what do you know? I despise how they end age ranges at like at like 55 plus or 65 plus as if you are worthless after that well to them you are because they think you know you're not going to bring in the money uh so cha i don't know if these are palms jesus wants to know are these palms cha um i think it's a type of tree that bubbles invented <laughs> i don't think they exist <laughs> So I don't know what this is, but uh, we'll go, we'll go. It, I mean, it could also be feathers, like fake trees made out of feathers. You know, I love that for us. They look like feathers, heaven, right? Dr. Seuss tree. Yeah, very Dr. Seuss. Chanel mold tree. Yeah. Very the Camellia Fall Winter Collection. This reminds me of the Golden Girls when Blanche gets pacemaker and afraid to have it, you know, thinking, to, uh, afraid to have sex. Thinking it's gonna oh. Amy, thank you, my love. Amy Carmen donated $50. Loving this live stream. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, best believe. Just a tip in the fashion bunker. Just a tip, just a tip in the fashion bunker. The fashion bunker. The luxury tip. Hermes tip in the fashion bunker. It's not a whip. It's a crop tip. The crop tip in the fashion bunker. Hit it, Bubbles. Oh, Tracy B. Tracy underscore B donated $5. Merry Christmas, Day Cub and FB Peeps. Thank you so much, sweetie. (laughs) There's more tip. There's more tip. With the miracle whip, but this is not a whip. This is a crop, 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 crop. Bop, bop, what, what, do what, 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 do what with the tip at the crop. Hit it, bubbles. <laughs> oh, the Christmas crop. 
<laughs> the Christmas crop, honey. <laughs> Basic bag, ladies. That was special. Thank you. Loves it. Thank you. Exploring with Chris. A Merry Christmas to you too, sweetie. Oh, this tip. Right, Lux? It's, it's all about the tip, honey. It's all about the tip, honey. Oh, we did it, ho. 302 likes. We go, we go. Yeah. Looks, Lux says, sounds like someone getting spanked with a wet noodle. Dancing like a trained circus. Right, Amy? Jacob, your poor fingertip. Oh, honey, this finger has been places. It has seen things. It has survived. It's a survivor. This finger will not break. And I'm telling you right now. <laughs> This finger over here is not real. <laughs> it's a famous finger. Yeah, it's a famous finger. Wop, 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 wop. Yeah, that's right, Steph. Yes, that's the one. That's the song. The question is one finger or two? Oh, honey, how many can you take? Ah! <laughs> she said, not, huh? what? I mean, queen. So uh, he's going to give himself carpal tunnel syndrome with that thing. Oh, Jesus. I love how you immediately <laughs> portray the end of days. <laughs> the diagnostics that Jesus gives me from time to time. I'm actually surprised I'm still even alive. But um, so there you go. We'll go, we'll go. Yes, it's the finger and the crop, baby. That tip can take a beating top. Mm-hmm. Powerful tip. <laughs> so anyway, enough of our thirst, end of year thirst. Because let me tell you, Linda, uh, we have another live stream on Wednesday. Uh, Today is Monday. So I got one day to chill, ax a little bit. And then we got our regular live stream on Wednesday. So for now, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I've Managed to make your Christmas day a little bit less lonely and a little bit more cuckoo and crazy. Because guess what? Honey boo boo cha. Life is crazy. Enjoy it. Live it. Let it fly over you, flow over you like the ebb and the flood. And I just want to say thank you to the mods for keeping us safe. Chizzes, jizzes. <laughs> Kev. Gloria Rathinos. Aish, Aj. You know, you know who you is. Hit it, Bubbles. A special thanks to the mods in the Hit, 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 hit. So, um, so what uh, Jesus and Jesus were talking about, like, hey, we need a, we need a special emoji, uh, for the mods. So we don't have a slot open for an emoji. We have to swap one. And they're like, put all our faces into one, mesh them together and create a monster. And that could be the mod emoji. So I'm thinking about it. Not sure if it can work out or not, but um, we'll see. I don't know. You know, we'll go, we'll go. And we'll go, we'll go. So all the new members, use your we'll go, we'll go emojis because we're going to we'll go, we'll go now into the we'll go, we'll go territory. Hit it, Bubbles. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, gobble, gobble, gobble. Sometimes I think it's like a turkey. Like, we'll go, we'll gobble, 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 gobble. Boy, what a live stream. I hope you guys had fun. Because this was like insane. We went all over the place. We was, we was done that there. We was done there. We was done there. And we're living, Ferret, hopefully. And we're surviving this year. Still a couple of days to go before the year is over. It would be amazing if we survived the year. Thank you very much. <laughs> live to slay another day. Live in ferret. I'm living ferret, living ferret. Living ferret, living ferret. Living ferret, living ferret. In the name of Jesus from the chats, 
We ratchetly pray. <laughs> you know, D cup and all. And um, so, but I also, uh, we die in ferret, you know. Uh, and uh, ah, there you go, the comet. Yeah, you better praying for a D. This is it. Any size at this point, Jesus is like any size will go, will go. Any functionality, dysfunctionality will go, will go. We die in ferret. Die in for the eggplant. Hit it, bubbles. <laughs> Looking at the package. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that was that. And uh, now at this point, I think our conversation was so ratchet that I scared off Baby Yoda. I mean, technically, Baby Yoda is like 52 years old. So it's not like Baby Yoda is a baby anymore. Kev, the horse and the eggplant. Well, there you go. And heaven is like dying, 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 dying. I ferret eggplant emoji. Baby Yoda, um, um, the other baby. Your predator baby, yeah, okay. Your predator baby Yoda today? Cha. So, uh, cha 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 cha, huh? Yeah, you gonna do cha cha cha? Cha. I can take you out of your little house, your little nesting ground. Such a creature. You are such a creature. Look at you with your little leg. Look at him. He's pulling the Angelina Jolie at the Oscars moment again. With <laughs> ah! Hey, it's Angelina Jolie at the Oscars with the one leglet poking out. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -Y what was it, like 10 years ago now? When she had that weird leg poking out. Baby Yoda is Angelina Jolie. ta 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 Wanna play cha cha cha? Hit it, baby Yoda. Cha 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 cha. That's that. That was our show. Believe it or not, I mean, if Jim Henson were still alive today, he would be sitting. Somewhere in LA, writing down notes, watching this ratchet spectacle of hoes unfold. Every single live stream. He would be writing down notes because if you don't know it, his first Muppet show was called Something About Sex. Uh, it was not for kids. The Muppet show was originally very much so for the grown ups. And I do, I doth believeth it, that we contribute very fertile soil and ground for these authors and writers. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. Wouldn't surprise me one bit if some of those writers from Hollywood will be sitting in front of their screenlets and run down all our shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fertile soil for show, says Chizus. The Maury show could never, never. He would use the jokes for sure, right? Yeah. Although both Chizus and Jizus have been accusing me lately of becoming more and more of a dad with my with my dad jokes. But uh well, we'll go, we'll go. So anyway, Amy said, Y'all made my night. This is real life. Keeping it real. Boomer Yoda, baby. Infertile soil for my 65 plus ladies, says Jizus. Yeah, I can't believe you that you know, we let it we let it pass because it's his birthday. But uh Ah, uh, thank you, sexy dad. Well, you know, some people are like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, oh, honey, just because I got the long hair and play with makeup. I got the mother energy, honey, but I'm very much the man. Don't you worry. Man, when you, where you know, we'll go, we'll go. When you need to be, you is. When you don't need to be, you can shut it. That's the thing. PPHH, Jacob, you should visit the Christmas market in Hamburg at the Reaper Band. Think you would have fun. Ah, is it a sexy well experience? From Chanel Muse to a biker dad, ho. Don't forget the ho, as in ho, ho, ho. 
and Merry Christmas for whoever's celebrating it. And for all the other ones, happy holidays. I shall see you all after all of this is over on Wednesday when we can start our planning for the New Year's Eve celebrations and festivities. Until then, never forget. Do never give up a lot. Love you loads. Take care. Bye. Mwah.